spinning. I'm still spinning. spinning. Oh god. Uh, <laughs> Hi. I'm hosting. We're hosting a show. We are. Again. Are we? Kind oh, of, I guess we are. We're doing some painting. This is watching paint dry, where we we repair all these mechs that got damaged in death from above on Friday. And because Viking Lass is missing, there's a Viking butt. Oh, there's a in butt. In her place. There's the butt. There's a butt. So many butts. I don't think she, I don't think she's actually sick. I think she's just tired of painting her stuff and, Playing and dam damaging she her. She just wants to have a nice Friday of just pure destruction. Yeah. And this is Mark, one of our amazing volunteers. Hey, hey, Josh, hey, hey. Sit in this chair to make it stand. Please, it's literally right, right there. Nate Here. will be joining us to answer some more of your Battletech questions if you got them, but for it's just me and who are you? Who are you? I'm Stephanie. I play uh, Valravon in DFA. Yeah. Who am I? DFA what, DFA, what is that? Death that from support? Above, that is our uh, Battletech roleplay show. Tuesdays, roleplay, Fridays, Robots and Destruction, which is what we're doing. So yeah, Death from Above, it's our Battletech RPG. Tuesday, where you guys do like, they kind of set up for the story on Fridays. Fridays, they actually do Destruction. This table you see us at here lifts off. We transforms. Have, transforms. Transforms. We have terrain Stop. under here that these mechs fight on and get damaged by the lovely Viking lass. And we're getting ready for the show on Friday. Got a bunch of shit to paint. So these, much shit to paint. these are our current heroes. Beta here. Which was undamaged. He's undamaged. He's undamaged. That's Beta's what catapult. A, what a coward. Oh, what a coward. Diva. <laughs> well. Diva with the. Oh, Anna, can you, can you switch this? Diva. <laughs> We're going to glue that. Uh, actually, you're now going to be piloting the Orion. So, this is, the, this is part of their salvage. We got Orion here. And we do have to save the hat. And we do have now. to we do have to glitterize this thing and put the hat back on. So we got to make this to Diva this friendly. Really this is what they got on Friday. So this will be Diva's new mech. Talon and the Dragon. He took some hits, so it should be pretty easy to repair. We can fill these in and do some patch. <laughs> How embarrassing! So I run the boards back there. Yeah, yeah Ben is the only Battletech pilot that managed to not get hit while standing perfectly still. Did he even move last week? He, he moved up on He a moved hill. a little. There was no running, though. He learned his lesson, I think. And this is probably my favorite of all the Battletech characters. This is Valravon. That's me. And it's funny. This is, you, can't, you might not be able to tell us. I don't even know if you noticed this, but you had giant, this whole chunk of your center chest taken out. Yeah. Bill Doran from Punished Props came into here, patched that back up, made it look brand freaking new. So that's actually wood under there. Really? That's actually wood. Bill's the man. Jeez. And also, he, awesome. he patched the thing up nice. There was a giant ho hole in your center cavity there. I remember that, yeah. So we should let you repair yours. And then, for the new stuff. Oh, let's, yeah, there is. Let's get to the new stuff. New stuff's good. We like new stuff. This is the Victor. I'm gonna slowly put him together here. He looks so scary. He's I like don't... A, hey, look at all those... Look at those arms. Like little... Like, like I little. want those arms in real life. <laughs> bro. Does this, mech, does this mech even lift, bro? So he's, like, he's, like, he's like a mini <laughs> atlas almost. Look at that guy. Almost it is. It's so scary. So and these are the Harcourt's Destructors. They're kind of like an un... That's, I wouldn't say unknown, but there's not a whole lot of lore written about them, as far as I know. I hope not. I'm sure some Battletech people are going to kill me we'll right now. But you you're gonna, uh, this is the Victor, but yeah, there. I decided to paint them kind of like this rusty red color. So this is our base coat. We're going to leave them, so we're going to have this main color scheme going on. Sweet. We also got a Firestarter. Yeah, cute little, little guy. Those little guys are sneaky. Cute, cute little, little guy. guy. Cute little guy. Until he like sets everything on fire. Yeah, yeah. So this never, is a fire starter. Never knows best. And see, this is weird having you on the show because you are going to be going toe to toe with what is this? An, I don't know. It looks really familiar. What is that? An enemy griffin? What? What? Griffin versus griffin. So I get my, I get another Highlander moment. It looks like. So we're gonna have an enemy so griffin. The last head. one went so well. We're gonna see if Val can go toe to toe with, and that is what we're painting. And we also got some tanks, some little stuff. We got a burnt out building. That's gonna be part of the things. Oh, yep. But yeah, and these things are from shape. We get these from Shapeways. They're not cheap. They're not cheap. Yet we destroy no, them. We destroy them weekly. Every freaking week, just Holy for shit. you. But they're really amazingly like solid resin. It's a, it's kind of amazing the beating these things can take. Like when you see everybody cringing on camera about when the mechs are getting destroyed. We're really cringing because of the sound and because of how much these things freaking cost. And, and the smell, and the smell. Oh, the smell The smell bad. of victory, it hurts. Oh, yeah, so and the smell of plastic. Melted. Oh, also, 
Well, Steph, I guess I, I guess I like Steph's in your we're ho on hosting duties, we're not on role playing duties. Yeah, Steph. I hear you like to draw a little bit. Maybe just a little bit. And Mark, can you move your head? Or, actually, duck down. Hi. Just, Hi. Just, so we're, we'll be taking donations. We love donations. Help keep this channel running. Help keep your uh, favorite shows going. But Steph will be taking five dollar donations. She is a amazing artist. You might have seen some of her stuff on Twitter. Uh, we've been posting it a lot. And for five dollars, say what you want in your donation. She'll draw a quick sketch on the board. The best that I can, okay? Because I don't know everything. Best, they'll be quick, but <laughs> they are fun little drawings. She draws. She's drawing a Doge earlier in like two seconds. I'm like really? Yeah. So five dollars for that. Feel free to donate, help the channel, and get a fun little piece of art on the board. Also, for how much? 30, I will make an actual sketch commission for you, and they will mail it. We will make, she'll make a little sketch commission of what you're choosing. You're choosing, or just whatever you want? You want to let them they can, choose? They can, they can choose. They can choose. Uh, we posted on her Twitter just to see some of her work, but $30, she will do a little, I mean, it'll probably be about this size. Cute, cute little sketch we can mail off to you real quick. Like the cool stuff I've been things. putting a shadow around, you get a pretty cool sketch. So, you know, yeah. help us, let you guys get something for supporting us, help, help us help you. All right, shall we get Or painting? you can pull together and make me draw something really weird and awesome. <laughs> that would work too. Yeah. And Mark, spot. you're going to be the, the builder today, yeah. helping us build on yep. the buildings. Do yep. you know anything about painting stuff? I painted some minis. So, when you say some, how many is some? Like a few D&D &D minis. A few D&D. &D. Yeah, they're great. They look really great. So luckily, I have a shit ton of painting experience because I'm a giant undercover nerd. Undercover. Undercover. Actually, funny story how I got in, Actually, I'll tell, you, I'll tell you guys the whole story of how I got involved in board games and painting. Yeah, One day I was going to my board game store. I was like, what is... You know, I saw they had like the that Castle Ravenloft D&D game. They had Last Night on Earth, a bunch oh, of zombies. Oh, yeah. And I saw these games. I was like, what are these cool little figurines and toys they have in this? What kind of, these are awesome board games. I was like, no, nah, I can't buy one of those. I, I don't need this shit. And fast forward like another couple months later, I saw them again. I was like, all right. It was on sale. I'm going to buy... I got to buy one. I got to buy one. And, but they have all these unpainted minis. Come on out here, Nate. Yeah, uh, you can you can sit here. I'll, I'll be in the I'll be in the back. Right? I'm gonna leave in a second. I just wanted to make sure that you were painting the right things. We're, we're telling the story of how I got involved in painting miniatures. Oh, paradigm wow. shift. Paradigm shift first donation thirty. You choose. Anna, can we turn the music up in here? Hold on, I'll be right back. So uh, what I was I gonna choose. say. I choose. Cool. Is, okay. Uh, we're not painting the Orion day because if you want it is going to be one of the uh things that is up for sale in the morning during the week hashtag evo says you choose yes that's some paradigm shift so write that you write that down yeah i wrote it down my choice all right so back to this enthralling story so buy a board game and all the miniatures came unpainted. So I was like, oh god. Should I paint them? No, I don't have time to paint them. But then there was like a sale on paints, and then I just got freaking hooked. And now I paint all my board game miniatures. What board game miniature was it? This was, the first one I painted was Castle Ravenloft, the D&D game. Oh yeah. Which they re-released, it looks I, really good. I have that game sitting in my apartment. I've yet to play it. I got all the rest of a shardle on, and we, Legend we. of Drizzit. 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 Who's that guy? Ugh. All right, so Nate here. What do you do, Nate? Who are you? I? Do a lot of things. I am a game designer at uh, Hairbrain Schemes, and I also uh, help produce the DFA Battletech show here at Hyper RPG, as well as just hang out and cause trouble for these guys. What do you feel like painting today? I don't know. Something big. I was mainly coming out here just to make sure that the Orion didn't get painted. Well, too bad. Now you're painting. You're stuck. Now I'm, now I'm here. I'm stuck. <laughs> this is, this is That's what happens. That's what you get for being responsible. Do you want to do the... Do you want to do Come the, help uh, paint. Do you want uh, to I want to do this guy, actually. Fire starter. I want to do the fire starter. All right. I want to paint your. I'm gonna paint your rival. Maybe we'll leave. Maybe we'll leave the big guy for Viking last to paint on her stream if we don't finish it. Thanks, yeah. She can paint the good old Victor here if you can see that. And I'm gonna paint your rival. Uh oh. So once again, five dollar donations. I'll do something on the board. Steph will draw something on the board. Thirty dollars. She'll draw a custom piece and send it out to you. So let's get painting. Did Tyler tell you uh, what the paint scheme for these guys is? So there was no paint scheme. We no, got, we got to choose. Scheme. Our choosing. Our choosing. That's dangerous. That is dangerous. But it's okay, I think you made a correct choice in making it very rusty. I just rusty. realized. What? What did you do? This is the wrong leg. This is the wrong leg. No, that's right. Is it backwards? Oh, look at that. All right. There's another griffin oh, right here. You, it, can, you can see. It's, it's definitely just missing right. its toes? Thing? Yes, toes? It, is, it is missing the back two it's toes. It's missing its back toes? That is what it's missing here. It's an altar. Come on, hello. Where's the PPC on that thing? I know, how, I know it comes with a PPC. I think it... 
All right, let's get painting. So if you guys if you guys got any questions on painting, I've got a ton of painting experience. Nate's got a good amount of painting experience. I, I've painted minis for almost my entire life. That doesn't mean I'm good at painting minis in any way, but... Steph's got a little bit of painting experience, so send us those questions our way, and we will answer whatever you want to know about painting. But we have these little cool... Or just life stories, too, because I'm a better expert about my life story than about painting. <laughs> we're actually, we're actually going to be the first just person... Just maybe. We're going to be the first team on the show to actually properly use these wet palettes. Are we? Oh, yeah. They're actually supposed to be wet because it helps your paints from drying out. It's because you haven't been on here to tell people what to do. Holy shit. I'm always in the back. That's true. You're always doing something. Just hiding. Oh, Viking, uh, is wa just Viking Lass is watching you, fucking asshole. Do you like the portrait I drew of you? Hey. Like Why is Wabbit with a donation? What does he got to say? Steph, is for you. Commission for Steph, Aaron Kirby holding a lightsaber handle that's been broken in half. With a look of oops on his face for Kirby to keep as a reminder. <laughs> oh, so did you hear that? Aaron Kirby holding a broken ass lightsaber. lightsaber. With, you got an emphasis on the look of defeat on his face because I don't know defeat. if. Look of defeat. You so got yesterday, it. if you guys might have missed it, he broke one of our HTC Vive controllers. <sighs> You uh, you put it back together pretty. We put it back together, but oh, he... the fact that it was, it was broken on live stream was kind of scary. We've I don't know. It's like dropping your firstborn down the stairs. We've accident. not told. We have not told Aaron to fix it yet. Spoken, we just want to. We just want to rub it in some more. So what color scheme do you think we should go for? Why do you think I, I mean, live forever? This is the forever. base coat. I had to give away something. Uh, I was thinking. Uh, oh, you know what? I was thinking these are house Merrick, but or house Lau, but they're actually house Merrick. So these are Harcourt's destructors. Yeah, but they're working grass, Merrick. Oh, that's what I'm calling. Oh, you, you know this lore. What is House Merrick? House Merrick, uh, their colors are generally dark purple and kind of blackish. Um, that's kind of purple. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so that's some black and purple highlights. And some black, purple, silver highlights. That should work. All right, well, yeah, very Beaten purple sounds good. I got some black over there. You guys got all the paints you guys need over there? Well, I, these were the ones I was saving for Orion, but since we're not painting. <laughs> It was all the annoying bright colors. Well, now people get to uh, get to pick, or it's the potential that they can buy guys, their custom paint job for. Guys, it'd be more. really cool to do like a white and magenta fade out to thunderbolts. I don't know. <laughs> disco. Mm. Nothing says disco like They're thunderbolts. Not like that. Oh, we, we, can we can share. We can share. I don't want to share. Oh my God. Sharing. Is so nice, sharing is caring. No, it is not. Oh hi, Mark. Oh hi. Oh, hi again. So I'm gonna use it's kind of small. You. So when, you, when you're painting mix or any type of big things, it's a good idea. This is the way I like to do it. If you can get like a colored primer, a lot of companies make colored primer because you can just get a whole chunk of it out of the way. And this isn't the best primer job. We're gonna fill in a lot of details with washes and stuff. Um, but it saves you so much time from painting these big areas and keeping it nice and smooth. It helps and, out a ton. And it sets a nice temperature for what you're gonna be doing. Hence, nice and warm and red. What happens if you paint it? Cool, cool and blue. I don't know, you just be really cool. All right. you just feel it, man. And unlike Don, who comes on the show every now and then from Star Mazer, I do not like to eat my paint. Oh, you see, that's how I was raised. It explains a lot. What the but... fuck is wrong with you guys? Jesus Christ. Hey, dude, I did not eat paint. I just ate, ate it straight off the windowsill. We have giant <laughs> cups of water right in front of you for this very reason. <laughs> the that's, lead makes it tasty, right? That is what this yeah, wet palette is for. Man. That's, that's like the best paint. bit, the best tasting. <laughs> so, and we definitely gotta, oh shit, we gotta repaint this thing too. Where is, we had me Diva, the Rhythm Nation over there. Let's see if I can match this to Diva's old mic. There's no music playing either. No, there's not. Nope. Just the sounds of our beautiful voices. Sound, uh, sound, the soothing sounds of her voice. Is that what you want? And Don grew that big with eating paint. Oh, Devil Crayon's dropping knowledge. Some of these people know their battle technology like, whoa. Yeah, yeah, no. Especially uh, on Death from Above, since I'm in chat a lot of times, I just see people dropping stuff, I'm like, holy shit, you guys know this stuff. It's pretty impressive. It's well, pretty impressive. Like, Tyler will uh, drop, like, pretty obscure things, and people pick it up right away. Also, those donation trolls are, like, the best, and I love seeing Tyler react to those, and I know he's so very, very happy. Oh, yeah. He, he that was. people love the things that he loves, so. Keep it up. Maybe he won't kill us. <laughs> <laughs> oh look, Viking last. Oh, things I chat. know that you would be so afraid of. I can't be there in person, so I want to be in chat spirit. Can we take a poll of which host they like better? Joe and Steph or Viking last? Yeah. Yeah, I went there. I That's totally a, went oh, there. Oh man, just starting That's wars. Weird. This is like a gift war too. I'm gonna vote Viking last because she actually knows how to keep a conversation moving in her dead air. That's true. God damn it. That's true. 
Yeah. The poll's over. Poll's over, ladies and gentlemen. So. Overlord has spoken. <laughs> so we're gonna highlight the griffin here. We're gonna do some black, some purples, and some silvers. But the base color is this red rusty color for Hawcourt's destructors. Purple well, and silver. Are you like washing them? Or like, what are you doing? They are. A, I believe a mercenary unit, but I would have to look it up. You don't know the stuff off the top of your head? like I, I don't know the stuff. I am not Tyler. I unfortunately don't know this stuff off the top of my head. Oh. Dude, how much of your battle? Just they're mercenaries. They're Ooh. mercenaries. Voice from the sky. The voice from the sky. Thank you. Anna's running at boards right now. I need to go out here and paint, which is fun. This is actually fun for me. It's almost soothing if Zach didn't keep coming out and yelling at us. Great. Be amazing. It would almost be like nope. just hanging out with some friends, but nope, nope, and then Zach best. shows up and it's like, ha, ah, but I will never hang out with you. Zach ruins our fun all the time. So laughter, did I hear laughter? It's my cue. How's it feel repairing your own mech of I? Uh I don't know yet. Yeah, you wanna you wanna it's talk about some just some life choices you made during the last last battle? Hey, you know what? I thought it was supposed to be nice and easy and due to a slip up of misinformation. More things showed up than <laughs> than we planned. I honestly thought you were gonna die. There's permanent. Really? I was like, oh, well, yeah, there <laughs> is. But... Steps off the show. Hey, I did real good. <laughs> it's good knowing you. Good I kept taking you. PPCs to the face. I'm used to this by now. <laughs> Jesus, that That's was scary. Your... I'm used to taking PPCs to the face. Steph, 2016. That's true. Oh, that was a hardcore. God damn, I'm clicking that. Someone's posting links in there. Wreck Horizon pirates. Rabbit ears around those. Good old pirates. I cannot do this. Stupid play. So how did your battle tech Q&A go, Nate? I think it went pretty well. We answered some questions. Mm -hmm. uh, fooled around a little bit. Uh, I'm excited for that game. And that, that is genuinely like no That's bullshit. No bullshit? I'm not just plugging like, hey, go play Battletech, boys and girls. No, I'm actually... I, I also am really excited, not only for the game, but the, to work on it. Uh, as a... Uh, Things have been picking up over the last few weeks. It's, it's really some some cool stuff. I think it's going according to schedule. So schedule. far, yes. <laughs> Enjoy that while that lasts. <laughs> I know it's a. Uh... There's your there's your hard reality there. <laughs> Harsh reality. How'd you get involved in DFA, Steph? Uh, I jumped out of a bush at Tyler twelve years ago, and we became friends. Wait, yeah. really? What happened? Yeah, this actually. No matter how I spin that story, like I jumped out of a bush at him. That's not a metaphor for anything. Nope. Did you know him when you jumped out of this bush? Uh, no, sort of. I'd seen him around. <laughs> <laughs> what? Were you trying to holler at him or what happened? Well, no. Well, he was talking to one of my friends who lived in the dorms with me about Metal Gear. Which don't ask me about Metal Gear because I haven't played Phantom Pain or anything else recently. And you, 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 you're doing your best. Did you play the <laughs> alert Metal Gear song in your head when you jumped out of it? Bring. No, I didn't. No, I was just more concerned about jumping out. I wasn't actually waiting in the bush for him, in case you guys were wondering. It's not like I did that or had any time to do that. Did you have like a sniper ghillie suit on and just hide? Yes, my gigantic camo sweater and my my black rave pants. It's exactly what, <laughs> uh, that, what happened. So, so why jumping out of a bush? It, it was just, it just happened. <laughs> That is that not was, something. That is not something that just happened. You don't yes, just jump it does. out of a bush. Just, there were just bushes around that building, and uh, I could draw you a picture about like how how the path was like split up. Yeah, I would like a picture on the board. Let's get that board started. Get a picture. Yeah. It's for five dollar donations. She will draw whatever you want on that board. Well, right now. I'm gonna, gonna, hey, no. King of the North. Five bucks. Need to write this down, don't I? Hold on. Mason's marauders need to be able to cover their behinds. Remote cameras on the battlefield. Hashtag Defa, hashtag Mitsuhama. Already getting donations for the DFA show on Friday. So thank you for that donation. Okay, uh, if you guys so... could buy stuff for the enemy too, because I don't really, it would be funny if someone died. <laughs> funny. <laughs> Let's kill him off. Show's over, and then Zach and I. <laughs> no, we got we got other people to bring up. Who do you want to die? Who do you, do you not like in the show? I don't. Oh, know. I, I like everyone. I I just also like the idea of someone dying. I don't believe. I don't believe. Can you. it not be me, please? I kind of. I, kind of I would be very sad. It's, if it was it's secretly. What about that? Would that does that make you feel better? No, it doesn't actually. It really does not. So, this is the classroom. It's Japanese 101. It was this in is class? where I was. Okay. This is where Steph is. This is Steph. 
This was Tyler, right over here. Hey Nate, go ahead and give us a big smile. I don't know what I'm doing. You give him a big smile. <laughs> That's so, you're giving a big I jumped smile. out at him from between two bushes, and therefore, Perfect. yes, Thank I jumped you. out of a bush at him. Thank you. Give it! <laughs> oh, fuck oh. you. <laughs> Do it! Oh, man. Let it live forever in the... <laughs> the vastness of the internet. I like how you can tell you haven't been around uh, the studio near enough that you don't question at all why I'm saying give us a big smile. You just smile and go, yeah, this is great. <laughs> you trust him. I don't, mistake. I don't know. You That's a mistake. <laughs> you, will learn, you will learn soon enough. Whenever Zach says something, just automatically. I feel crap. like I spend a lot of time here, but apparently not enough. I don't trust Jack Zach for shit. Don't trust anything he says, because you're gonna get U-banked. U-banked? <laughs> oh. U-banked. Get U-banked. Are you guys familiar with the term U-banked? No. No, but I, I, I like now it. Now we man. are. So the term U-banked originated when we were building a set, and old Zachary Eubank there would suddenly, he'd have to do something like, actually, can we do this and do this? Like, you know, right when we're about Daisy done, and we'll just have to add on a bunch of bullshit to it. I'm like, ah, oh, fuck, we're getting U-banked again. Or you bonked. And then bonked. I, <laughs> You got bonked. So would it be a proper uh, use of the term to say I got you banked into doing this show? Yep. Yep. I absolutely got you banked into this show. <laughs> from where exactly? Where do you hail from, sir? Me? Yeah, you. That's the, weir that the weirdest segue coming from yeah, you banked. I don't know. <laughs> Speaking of you banked, how did you get here from Where Boston? did you get How <laughs> did, did you, you get, get here? Where are you from? What's your life story? Speaking of you banked. Tell me your backstory. I don't care if it's not episode 10 yet of this. Hyper RPG enemy. Tell me now. now. Now I see your tag. You jump out at Tyler. You just randomly. Yes, I did. You go I, I've told that story so many times. Come on, tell me, tell me where you come from. I've embarrassed my. I, I've given up trying to shape that story into anything else besides jumping out at a bush at him, which sounds ridiculously terrifying. I'm glad. Hey, it's so hey paradigm shift. Look, I appeared on TV with my father, so I mean. Oh, that's... there we go. That should be enough Hashtag of an embarrassment. Hashtag Evo. Full repairs for the Orion. Full repairs Whoa! for the Orion, so Diva is getting repaired in her new mech, which is this guy right here, which I gotta repaint in the Diva colors. Whoosh. That, actually one of the things up for, uh, up for sale on the pricey round is a custom paint job. You'll get to decide how we paint Diva's new mech. Oh, really? Lightning bolts, yeah. man. Lightning bolts. Which is why we're not painting it today. Lightning bolts make you faster, we or is that tomorrow. flames? I forget. That, that'd be fun. That'd be really fun. <laughs> So painting, so, and as you can see, so I have this little, if you're wondering why this little paper towel thing is out here, a lot of times you don't want too much paint on your brush, you just want it to gently... You want nice thin washes to keep your texture going, because what's the point of a 3D model? That is true, you don't want to dilute your detail, is to be the exact words. But, and also if you just glob on paint, you're gonna have like ugly brush strokes and all that nasty stuff, you don't want that, you don't want that at all. So I'm painting, I still have no idea what color, how I'm gonna do this, I'm just, oh, that looks like it should be black. Sure, let's make that black too. Let's go from there. Here, here's your I, I'm trying to see what you're doing what so I can matter? kind of copy it, but you know, it'll all work out. How's it repairing your own mech over there? It's really weird. I'm just patching it up with some uh, metal bits, metal shreds, and I'm just gonna. Does it remind you of the damage you took? Like, oh shit. Yeah, it's very cathartic. Thanks. I'm reliving every moment. You do have great expressions. Every, every PPC to the face. You do have great expressions when your shit gets damaged. Oh, dude, yeah. I'm so sad. I think one time uh, Diva handed me my mech back and I was like, no, no, I feel it right here. Huh. Are your antennas chopped off on that mech? What? Are your antennas chopped yeah, off? Yeah, they, yeah, it's been gone for like three, three weeks. I, I shot those off actually, yeah, or, or rather oh, yeah. mistake did. Um, my, my sensors were fried after that. That was pretty, pretty hilarious, we're gonna I guess. Keep these antennas He's on. a good friend now though, right? Yeah, yeah I, I mean, taken we, 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 we <laughs> entrusted the empire to him now, I guess. Diva's paint job is 100% black. Yeah, I don't know how much of an empire it is, but yeah. It's fine, at least you have an atlas. So our, half of the, our half of the new Apple is, is quite nice. This is Diva's paint job map, but let's just murder out Diva's mech. It's black on black on black. Black on black. <laughs> With a magenta That would be really funny bolt. if uh, if Diva's mech was just all black. Like, she would hate it. It would be great. Like, what? Maybe that's what we should do. God damn it, no, stay on. You breaking that shit? How you doing back there, Mark? Uh, okay. Mark is making some tanks for the show. Well, I'm, I'm patching up one tank. I'm patching up, patching up one tank right now. Give me the now. dragon so I can just, actually no, give me the clay I gave you back. Give me some of it back. 
Give me that dragon so I can just patch the holes. Yeah, patch all it, doing all the patchwork? Yeah, I'll just cut little tiny rectangles. So once again, we're repairing mechs here and watching paint dry for our DFA show. Look at this guy. He's freaking full of holes. That's what happens. I know. Thanks, Viking Lass. Thanks. What? Thanks. God damn it. We're doing all our dirty work. Glitter today, guys. I don't know. Is there more than just red glitter? What did you do? Eat the rest of it? No, the other glitter I had brought in, and I don't know what happened to it. It's oh. all red. It just, I don't need this much glitter for anything. It all just comes in a cake shaker. Why? It's like to sprinkle on what? It, it's uh, it's edible. Yeah, can, yeah. I, can we, with your, or it might be. With your, drawings, with your drawings you have to do for people, can we pack glitter in with envelopes? Can we do that? Yes, maybe. Maybe. Uh, <laughs> I think that we might... will send everybody three envelopes, three envelopes. <laughs> Whoever that ordered the commissions. Lead to a, uh, you need a bad to open thing. the right one. <laughs> you can't order glitter bombs for other people. We no, won't support that. No, that does not that. happen. Yeah, what are glitter glitter is like the herpes <laughs> of craft materials. It just gets everywhere. All right, so DFA, the show is on Friday, well, Tuesdays and Fridays. Tuesday is the RP session setting up for the battle. Friday is when we take these mechs that we're painting and repairing right now and put them to battle. You should t tune in for both anyway, because sometimes really dumb things happen on Tuesday, like talent almost dying. Yeah. That wasn't really dumb. That was Talon being heroic and saving everyone else. <laughs> yeah, from the space Kelpie. Thanks. Where Talon is. I decided it was a space Kelpie, guys. That's an ambush. You know by how himself. scary space Kelpies are. Shit. It's fine. There was there was how, one. Uh, how superstitious is Balravan? Um, she doesn't There's really mind fire. undead. She actually hates ghosts more. Hey. Oh, Does she six. Oh, Does... absolutely. Steph, get to work. What, what do I do? Can we have a sketch of fun with a PPC? Hashtag Evo. Sketch of a fawn with a PPC. Oh. Go! Yeah, well, I don't even know what a PPC looks like. Hey, yeah. Posh C! I can show you. Yes, please. Show me what a particle cannon looks like. What is that? Uh, do we have one of Lockwer is pleased to see the painters using it's water on it the epoxy putty and thinning their paint. But please, for your health, Nate, stop eating the paint. Hash setter dash crook cares. Stop also, here. this donation is going towards the Thumper Artillery for the Op 4. Thank you for donations. You. Nate, stop eating the paint. But it, it's nutritious and delicious. What's wrong with you guys? Why are you asking do you, that question? Do you really question? want a list? It's, it's kind of long. <laughs> now I, now I, I just realized why he had you smile. Now that I just see your face right now. Oh, Jesus. Mm. Now I get it. I don't even need to see a mirror. What is wrong with you? That's why you don't need paint. So I'm just gonna just do this and come back and touch that up. Put some silver. You guys get a Viking fawn. Oh, nice. Hopefully, hopefully we can get a shot of that. Okay, I don't know what a PPC looks like. <laughs> Nate, what, what does a PPC look yeah, like? Yeah, come on, come on, mister. Like a, I don't know what an auto well cannon like. That is not a good reference point for me. Okay, do you know what a, how a PPC works? It's basically too mad. Why are like, you eating paint? <laughs> Oh man, <laughs> I'm I'm just gonna leave. It's okay. Uh, <laughs> I would have no, dressed so, up as uh, with a mohawk Viking lass, but it's I just basically a giant rifle that uses magnets projectile. So like real gun like you know, a good counter, good point of reference. Okay, that's fine. Except I'm really bad at like hard edge modeling, so I'm sorry if anybody thinks my PPC is. I would have dressed up as April, but I found I was doing a show like an hour ago. While I'm running the other shows, I'm like, oh great. So here I am painting Max. I'll leave the I'll leave the big one for you, April. Though I'll leave the big one to paint for you. You can paint that lovely looking beast. So again, so I am painting the enemy Griffin. You are painting the Firestarter. That is correct. Cool. We have Victor. He's a part of Harcourt's Destructors. Harcourts. I hope I hope they're they're a bunch of surly old Englishmen because that's how I say their name. Harcourt's Destructors. Hum, 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 hum. Oh, oh, oh. I say. There's your extremely beefy fawn. Oh yeah. Holding a PPC cannon. Can we get a shot of that, Anna? Can we get a shot of the PPC with the fawn? Fawn with the PPC. Oh, that's a part of my neck. What does PPC stand for? Particle projector cannon. Oh snap. I know that. I just don't know what it looks like. Okay. <laughs> Everyone talks about like how much heat they build up and. Yeah, I was thinking about getting one for the Griffin, but like, there's really no need because my lasers are so effective anyway. They're extremely effective. Remember when the awesome was on, they're like, oh shit, all the PPCs. Oh like, god, oh. yeah, don't remind me. 
I thought they're like some type of like missile launcher thing. No. Nope. No. They act like giant lasers. They hurt a lot. Like it's no fun. That's what those pirates shot at me. That was so scary, guys. I thought I was gonna die then, actually, when I took three overcharged PPCs to the face. <laughs> that was not very nice. Which we patched up Which on watching it's, no, it's just not anybody's fault for the donations. That was really exciting. You guys donating, no matter what side, makes the entire battle super exciting because it's out of our control and it's really, really fun. But that was very scary. <laughs> I do secretly like it when people donate to the enemies too. Yeah, it's really fun. It's great. So watch the world burn. Tyler th did threaten to like play as if he meant to kill us a few times, and that was very scary, but uh, it was very well worth the... Uh, Fun game. I actually don't know what I'm doing with this putty. I think I'm doing this. Yeah, game. you guys, you guys got lucky in the last one. Oh, you, you guys are rolling yeah. like crazy. Okay, we weren't ridiculous. supposed to actually defeat them, by the way. Like we kind of had some inkling what we were supposed to do, but holy crap, that was like completely not part of the full full plan. And it was awesome. It was so cool. And this Diva lost her leg here. So that was great too. That. that was scary, but that was really great. I thought Diva was gonna go down. I thought I was gonna go down in the beginning, but it's like, no, I gotta go punch the tower. I have to at least punch the tower. Hmm? Yes. I don't know what's going on in the cameras. I'm back here. I don't know either. Is All that... I know is that I'm self-conscious about smiling now and it never happened yet. Uh, on the board? Yeah. It's hard for me to see. Oh, is it you fine? Can, I can, can just take a picture and tweet it later. <laughs> Yeah, we got that posh. We should be able to deal that. I'm getting paint all over myself. I mean, it's not on my face like yours, but no, yeah, that's fine. It's still all over myself. I mean, you might as well do the whole thing and get a really sick like lip tattoo, which I have always wanted to get, but I don't want to because <laughs> I might <laughs> might have other career options. You may be the most future. tattooed people here at Hyper. We Energy. are We're just carrying that banner for a while. Oh, but Lauren will be here later for Shadowrun. She has a She's cool. Cute little girl's got tattoos on her feet that she showed us last night. That's pretty cute. I'm like, oh, look at those little things. Those girls got tattoos. Pretty great. That was pretty fun. Oh. Finally getting to meet in person. So, oh, hi. I draw. I, I draw your entire campaign sometimes when I'm bored. But here's a question for you, eh? Steph. So you know Shadowrun, we have our little meta meta game, right? Yeah. What, are you asking me about corporations? Yeah, have you each joined a corporation? I have not yet, because I have not subscribed to the channel. What you... What? Damn it! I know, I'm really bad. Am I gonna have to shame you like I shamed Mitch the other I day? Ha I, I don't think... Can you shame me? I don't know yet. I don't, I don't know if I can. I, I can't can shame Mitch. I think you'll just get me a really good death glare for a little bit. I'm gonna have to shame you like we shamed... I can shamed... definitely give you a death glare for a little bit. Okay. We're gonna have to shame you like we shamed Aaron Kirby on Trivia Hops. <sighs> Maybe not this... How? Wait, what? Let's start pointing at him, yelling, "Shame! Shame! Shame! Shame!" Help me out here. Shame! 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 I can't, I can't. Shame! Can you subscribe already? I need to get back. To well, when you I just... like, I, I like come from a, like an Asian family. There's really no way you can like do that to That's me true. right now. It's really hard to actually just do that with words. I'm gonna call your parents and tell them that you. Well, real you can shame. just be my disappointed Asian father. It'll be fine. You're Joe. Actually, eventually, you're scary enough that I would be like, okay, Dad. I'm sorry. You're disappointed him in math. Like what? You got a A minus? Oof. Why not? Why, why, why does it have to be math? Why hepatitis B? Why not hepatitis A? But, That's like my favorite one. All right. And I have no problem saying it because it's me and it's directed to me. Good story. But so you when, guys are welcome. I'm breaking the ice for you. <laughs> when you do join a corporation, you can join join a meta game where we bid on different things. It's actually a lot of people are getting crazy. Like ours, we have like spreadsheets in our. Dude, it looks so plans. cool. Like, it looks so cool. So you should look in a hashtag Aries Corporation, the corporation that cares? Nope. 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 Hashtag Aries Corporation, the corporation that melts in your mouth, not in your hand? There you yep, go. Yep, there. Yeah, that's good. That's, um, that's actually kind of funny. That's actually really clever. I, I good actually, job. yeah. Hashtag Aries, just do it. <laughs> that too. Uh, no, now you're gonna get sued. <laughs> <laughs> good thing Nike doesn't watch Twitch. <laughs> but yeah, so we were, I'm part of, of Aries. And I knew to do. If, I, if I were to choose anything, it would have to be uh, it, it, because because of my experience on DFA, it would be Evo because I equate Evo to happiness. I don't care if sh Shiowase means happiness in Japanese. <laughs> Sorry, Aries. guys. You you make the game fun, but uh, Aries Natalia's have some uh, pretty harrowing moments. If I were to join as myself, I don't know. I think I have to read a little more. 
magical things. So maybe just ask technology. Who knows? Man, that's that's like Emily. Like Emily had to. Emily's got a poll going. Which corporation she joined? You know how I picked my corporation? I picked the one. That the one with the least letters. I, I, oh I, no, that's evil. I looked at the. <laughs> I looked at the. The court memberships. It's like, hey, Aries has got the lowest right now. I'm gonna join Aries. Oh, you're so nice. Oh, look at you. I Such just, a good guy. Aries, and they got guns, so they have all the guns. They do have guns. That's true. I don't know about all I don't know if you watched, watched this guy play Soldier yesterday. That was pretty impressive. Oh, Soldier. I like Soldier. On Overwatch. I gotta finally play my beefy Russian. She is so awesome. And we're talking about Overwatch here for Sorry. those who have no idea what we're talking about. I'm just Segway. rambling Sorry. on here. Sorry. Segways to random things. Once That's again, me. Dude, come on. Once again, a panel donations for our channel. Help support our channel. Donate five dollars. Steph, aka Valorvon here. Look at this fun. This Viking fun. We'll paint whatever you want. It's great. I didn't even know what a PPC cannon looks like. I think it's pretty accurate. Yeah, I, I, can, have, I can add more things. I actually want to add batteries. No matter how obscure it is, Steph here will paint it on the board for $30. She'll paint a little thing. Put me on the spot. It might be funny or it might be really horrible. Let's I see. am not sure. We'll find out. We'll, we'll, see, we'll see what happens. It's kind of up to you guys. Man, these things are not smooth and easy to paint. No, uh, they, yeah, oh yeah. Because even with primer on too. Yeah. It's kind of like... Uh, it's like his little feet. Let's paint that little foot. Little There's his foot where he's got toes on it. He's missing toes. I wonder if those mech friends make fun of him because he's missing his back toes and his. It's right it's legs. custom, okay? It's custom. Be gentle. Like whoa, you're missing your toes, you freak. <laughs> uh, you actually, can I, can that be a taunt on the battlefield? Can you just make fun of his mis lack of back yeah, toes? Yeah, I'll let I'll, I'll let I'll let Diva know about that one. Aries, we can introduce the cheese pizza. Oh, cheese pizza. Cheese pizza. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, cheese. You want the flag on this one, right, Joe? No, I don't want the flag on that tank. Stop. They always troll me by putting the flag. So these tanks come with these giant flags you can put on, and they always stick them on. They always keep taking them off. Like it, what? it doesn't matter. Does it matter? You're, you're gonna be painting over it anyway. Oh, okay, cool. But like for adhesiveness, is that the whole point, or does it even matter? It doesn't even matter. God, God damn it! That's what I've been doing. The wrong thing. I thought it was I like mean, that. I don't think it matters. Joe doesn't matter. It doesn't what? matter to mix these, right? It's not one of those adhesive putties, right? No. Okay. Just don't get on your hands, though. Why? Don't like roll it in between your fingers or anything like that. No, well, if it's too late. <laughs> Do I just not put it in my mouth? Well, put it in your mouth and don't rub just, your eyes. Just eat it. That's don't touch my eyes. Okay, yeah, I learned that one when I made ceviche one time. That was really scary. Getting serrano peppers in your eyes. Or lime juice in your eyes. Too. Or lime juice, yeah, there's so much lime juice. And, the and, the, and you had the combo and you rubbed them both in your eyes. No, just the serrano peppers, and I'm not a, that big of an idiot. I think you need to go to the bathroom later, too. Huh? That's true. That's bad one, too. Don't. Oh, is Treat Stream sending us something? What? No. no. And Anna's on the boards right now. Judge Dredd is the CEO of Ares. How Fuck do yeah. dragons and serpents compare to to D and D universe? In dragons and Shadowrun, how do they compare to the D and D universe? Is that the question? Sure. Like sure. Draco Actually, yes. Even if that's not the question, I'm curious about that now. Drop some. Drop some Drop knowledge some on us, heavy, mates. heavy knowledge. Dragons in general, as you would imagine them, are pretty similar. Uh, the difference is dragons in Shadowrun um, can also uh, shapeshift. Uh, they aren't categorized as far as like chroma colors or metallic uh, dragons as they are in D&D. Uh, &D. When they shapeshift, what do they shape? Can they shapeshift into? Like they can uh, appear to be human or uh, what? Are you kidding me? No. Uh, are you kidding? Are you a dragon? What kind of crazy ass, uh, kind of crazy -ass game is this? Like, Shadowrun tonight at six o'clock. Uh, really like, great. like in D and D and other classic uh, dragon myths, uh, dragons do acquire a lot of wealth. They are uh, they live for really long periods of time, and uh, are often considered very wise. Um, and uh, there's a saying: never cut a deal with a dragon because, well, the, you can't really trust them because they're ultimately out for themselves. Wait, so, so they can be a person that turns into a dragon. Well, it's a dragon that turns into a person. Like, is it like a giant person it's or is it like a regular a person? Like, it's a regular person. Yeah. How big is a dragon? More like they appeared, I think. Yeah. Well, I think. In part with the awakening, yeah. they, they reappeared. They reappeared kind of uh, along with the awakening. The first one actually. Sleep. The first one appeared in Japan. Like, what is the scale of a dragon? Like, ha, like, ha, 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 are we it, talking like Mulan type dragon or are we talking about like. Much bigger. Like, like 
Godzilla sized dragon? Like, like Smog. Yeah, they oh. rate like a dragon of full size. You're thinking like, you know, that fills out a lobby of a big dragon. hotel. <laughs> or dragon. You know, the maybe Smog level dragon. is where they would get to. I think that's the dragon that appeared in Japan was about the size of Smog. So they get pretty big. Huh. Huh. I'm glad, I'm glad Viking Lass is in here because we paint so much better than she does. Oh man, these are gonna be the best looking mechs we've ever had. Hey, can I see your griffin real quick? Yeah, from here. I'll take some design inspiration here. Oh, look at that. Oh, look at those little patches. Look at that. Interesting. Can I, can I make a, can I make a see, sword? That, that's okay. the only other mech I have. So here's the question. Can I, make, can I make a sword out of the scraps, like, mecha parts since that metal is way stronger. If oh. you can make a sword, I'm in full support of uh, oh. Out of the scrap metal, right? Oh, we, yeah, we got some styrene tubes you take, too. Make a sword. Well, no, because those tubes will just wear out over time. Can I, like, hey. forge? Hey, what? you, why don't you come on out here? I can't? Yes. Hey, you're allowed to be We're the captain <laughs> now. We can do whatever the fuck Exact your revenge, Boulevard! Where did Viking last go? She died. No, she, she, like, she went to Valhalla. Galpala. <laughs> that's, that's all the morning that Viking last got. Galpala. She's, on, she's on suspension. Viking last is on suspension. Oh. Did you mess up? Me, no. Are you sure? Yeah. Oh, I need to do better. I know that. Oh, yeah. That's so. what I'm about to say. You're not, you're not painting hard enough. Jen. You're not painting better. Paint hard so, enough. So, who are you? Tell these viewers who may not know who you are. Who are you? I'm Claudia. I am Run Fang on Shadow Run. Duck in my gray hair. Oh, hi. Did I hear a dog? Yeah, I heard, yeah, a, dog I heard a dog too. Holy shit, there's a dog. Zach, did you hear that shit? There's a dog next there, door. There's a dog next door. Aren't I, I they like are, but aren't they our friends though? We're trying to make friends and not like... Friends. Oh, we here. do need... Wait, not food. Duck. Yeah, just get on the like Claudia, she makes no. Okay. I can chair a seat. It's cool. That's easier for me. It's cool. I'm so, gonna just be here. So, so what do you do? Oh, I do Shadow Run, which is gonna start at... Six. Six? Let me man. Ty. Uh, yeah, you come at her wait, too. So you, so you brought one for Joe, but yeah. not for me? Yeah. Joe complained. Joe asked for one yesterday at like midnight, so. And the squeaky uh, oh. wheel gets the fix. Who yeah. rolls the person who lets me play? Is that how You're the You're saying if works? I complain more to Lauren, that she'll yeah. start buying Is that how things? that works? But I hate, I hate whiners. Yeah, well, well, you're doing a good I'm job lying. over there. Look at that. Here's I that, right? Want, hey, okay, uh, we've ruined the serenity that is happening. Yeah. No, 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 <laughs> kill the quiet, please. It's too quiet. Okay. You're being here please. is good. You please kill the quiet. Stuff anyone? Hell no. Are you sure? You I, I would take like over? to. I would like to paint. No, 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 not yet, though. I don't have my <laughs> painting <laughs> smock on. Thank, thank um, you for manhandling me. So. Oh, okay, I'm glad this is happening. No, Ooh, what are you painting us with? What? She's, okay. I feel like I'm dealing with one of my students where they just grab my hand and they're like, I'm doing this to you now. And you're like, you are? At Hyper RPG, okay. we have no boundaries. Yeah. Me? Oh. What? Oh. Frog paint's not adhere to nails as much as it might be to. No, I didn't think that it was going to, especially nails that already have nail polish on them. Good. <laughs> well, we'll see how long that I'm never talking as hell! I'm sorry, I only know one thing. What Same do you know? So what, what do you guys got in store for Shadowrun tonight? And and the sign I didn't for whiskey give and give her uh, ice cream, but I did get her bubble tea today, so. Yeah, mm -hmm. she did give me bubble tea. Oh, you guys, like, since we're pinning, you guys should monitor chat. And just, yeah. Oh, yeah, we can. You, you should host. Well, so we're, we're doing we're five bucks so I can draw some, another stupid thing on the whiteboard. Wait, you, you, this isn't stupid, this is glorious. Yeah, it was like a bike. Someone wanted a font holding a PPC cannon. I, I have like, no idea what a PPC cannon is. What's that? Huh? So, uh, yeah. yes. Did you touch him on the shoulder? I haven't. I haven't. Consent, consent, Joe. Consent. Consent. No, he did not ask for <laughs> consent before Ubank he painted right my nail. Oh, how are we getting you, Bang? I'm getting food, so. Oh. Oh. Food for, food for everyone? Yeah. Mark got you banked. Tea. Mark got you banked. Is it ice cream? That's true. It's not. It's not, but there's tapioca and I'm Boba. But tapioca. We actually learned out. this last night. What? Oh, the, yeah. The, we got, the yeah, boba yeah, yeah. is the tapioca part, and uh -huh. bubble tea is the whole concoction. I'm not. I'm not. Uh, <laughs> what I've learned. Consent. <laughs> consent. Is that if you keep the tapioca balls in the ice cold <laughs> drink long enough, they become frozen, which is almost like ice cream. Mm. I guess I see that. It's like frozen grapes, though. So be curious what those grapes. drawings on the board. The grapes are gross. You like tapioca balls, but not cheddar. Jesus Christ. What? So, so we're taking Sorry. we're taking five dollar donations uh, for Steph to draw something on a little board there, whatever you want, and thirty dollar donations, which she got two already, where she will draw on a little, you know, our little cool drawing. I so far have one is my choice. That's going to be fun. The other one is Aaron Kirby with a broken lightsaber and the look of defeat. 
That's pretty I'm, great. I'm excited to see that. You could also do five dollars for me to draw something on the board. I will not be as good. Sure. I will not. Okay, if you do five dollars, she can draw a line, and I can make it into something else too. That's a really fun yeah. game that I like to play. The line game. Oh, It'll yeah. be great. That sounds great. Uh, great. To clarify, I will not confirm nor deny my Girl Scout cookie anklet tattoo. <laughs> <laughs> It's important to know that's the, the thing that I have. Knows, wait, wait, like, but I say that? according to the chat, you're on. <laughs> aren't you on Honesty Hour tonight? I am on Honesty Hour tonight, so Could I will you confirm or deny it then. Yeah, here we go. Be ready for <laughs> feelings <laughs> hidden away by sarcasm and laughter. Plug all that's, these shows. Plug all the shows. That's what I'm doing. Uh, before that, I'm going to not murder this character. Please probably. don't murder my cat. I would be so bored on Wednesday nights. <laughs> and I won't be able to draw any more Fang, so please. <laughs> Be Lord. gentle. Lord would literally just lock me in my room, and then I would be. No, dead. you can't come to Shadowrun anymore. Yeah. Fang is dead. Fang <laughs> is dead, right. and it's like um, kenneling a dog. They just be like, you stay here until I get back. Hey, I don't even think your door locks. <laughs> I wouldn't be able to open well, it. She wouldn't even try it because she'd be so disheartened that you put her in there. Yeah. Just put a chair you know when, like, you know when cats just give up in the box and he's like, oh. I have never had a cat do that. Oh no, my cat <laughs> gives assholes. up. My cat, my cat gives up. She just like at one point just like I've accepted my cruel fate and just like lays there. Do you, do you think? Do you think if you put like a trail of like tapioca drinks, and then, <laughs> like ET, then have like a box with a stick, we could catch Claudia? Yeah. Yes. Well, you would. You wouldn't even need that. You literally could just be like, hey, Claudia, there's some anime over there. And she'd be like, what? <laughs> you could literally say, there's a box over there. And I'd be like, okay. She's like a, a bird, just throw shit over <laughs> if it. If it fits, like, I sits, and then it's a trap. But no, it's the opposite. Um, if I can hide under it. Pronouns are really hard for characters that you've made up. Um, especially mm. when you don't have the character conscious enough to actually tell people what their preferred pronouns yeah. are. Which um, is a reflection of your And then I started sometimes. messing it up, and then I felt really bad because yeah. I was misgendering my own character. We kept trying to push the they and the them. It really sucks that we forgot so much, which is just... Yeah. You guys try. We tried. I tried really so hard. hard. I'm going to keep trying. I'm probably going to do stuff like that yeah. more often. Uh, it's important. Pink it is. Representation. What would Wait. you represent Fang, replace Fang with? We were talking about this in the car, actually. Oh, yeah, no, she came up yeah. with her alt character. Yes. Yeah. Pretty great. Um, I would Are play you a that afraid that you're gonna die? Yeah, I oh, am. Claudia always has like five other alternative <laughs> characters. Uh, she, which you always what? should, by the way, there when you're playing an RPG. Always. When all she did was just replace her character with her character's sister. That was my first role playing character ever. I was allowed to do that, and this one was meaner. Because the other one got sent to hell. Did you, did you watch a lot of Gosh. telenovelas when you were younger? I did. <laughs> um, the, I would replace Fang How did you know? with uh, a hoity-toity elf <laughs> from, and I said this, please don't hate me, internet, the woods of Endor. Well, first she said from the Feywild, and then she's like, no, that's the wrong canon. And then she said from the forests of Endor. And then I, I did stop, I did stop and correct myself. And or, God, I love Star Trek. Bring, playing this mortal coat. There, there is so much hurt um, in my brain right now. It's just a lot. You also have pain. You did that too. Oh, I know. Do you, do you have pain on your face? I do, yeah. So if you see this giant mess, really you probably good, like, shouldn't have What? Oh, it's we have to do a podcast. Guys, no, Fang did not die. No, 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 no. no. This is RPG 101. You make five characters no matter what. Thank you, Shadowrun. So that. Uh, our Shadowrun coming, there will be after this at 6 o'clock. Shadowrun Corporate Sands. We'll actually have corporate news at 5.30. Recapping all the events that have happened in the show. Shadowrun Corporate Sands at 6 o'clock. And then later tonight, Honesty Hour with... Whoa. The one and only. Our Shadowrun GM, Lauren. Hey, who's on at 5.30? You haven't told us yet. All no, the news is on. All the news. Trick question. With Anna. Told us yet. Geeky, girly... Fleet Commanding Anna Banana. Any other nicknames I'm missing? Hey, FDH! Oh, what hell want? yeah. What do you want? On Brett. FDH? What? <laughs> Please draw a Zach face palming and give it to Claudia so she may always have senpai with her. <laughs> hashtag for B crew, hashtag Aries. <laughs> who, who, who donated? The FDH. That's a good So please draw a picture of Zach face palming and give it to Claudia so that she can always have senpai with him. <laughs> That's funny as shit. I guarantee you she's gonna be running out. Hey Zach, you're in my pocket. Hey Zach. In my pocket. Yeah, that's gonna be a running stupid joke you have around here. I mean, I guess it can't be worse than how we're sitting on Zach's face with pillow Zach all the time. I usually turn the face around, personally, but... Yeah, that's, right, personal. I just, I just that's right. a little too personal. I don't know what you guys do. I just put it right, I just put it right in there. You give me something to paint. Bye.
Hey! Rabbit Wombat 442! Oh, jeez. What is this for DFA? Yeah, probably. Gotta run some errands. So, real quick, hashtag Ren Raku is awesome because Red Samurai, so come join us. <laughs> I don't even request it, but just so we can get something new on the board, draw, draw a red samurai on the board real quick. Like, just a samurai wearing red, or, like, is there a specific red samurai? Uh, draw, like, Kirito samurai. Oh, what? You're the artist. Kirito? <laughs> like, you know, the, the space samurai from, from Battle Dance? I know, I know who they are, I'm half Kiriti. I was gonna say, how do you not know this? Your own character's from... I like... Hashtag Aries, thanks Steph for working on these drawings. Hashtag Aries appreciates you. Aries, we appreciate you. So We're the Caring Corporation. Do we want to do highlights of purple or do we want to make purple the main color? Highlights of purple? I don't know, I like the main color, this reddish color, just because it's less painting for us. <laughs> so you're, you want the main color to be the, the prime? Yep. I'm gonna wash it and it'll be great. Okay, okay. Ah, this, this is April show, we'll just leave this for April to fix. April, you're gonna have to fix this. Fix all the things! So we've taken over the butts board okay, with us. I think I have looked board. at enough armor to sort of know what samurai armor. Do you have a, a, draw an actual red samurai? I mean, you have a red marker. Just, no, yeah. Just draw, just draw it in red. Samurai, samurai. I at one point looked up way too much samurai armor, so I kind of have an idea of what I'm drawing, but not really. Yeah, done so. Hashtag Aries. Hey, hashtag how you doing? Hashtag painting max, hashtag battle tech, hashtag yeah. paint life, hashtag hyper underscore RPG. Hashtag hashtag, hashtag, hashtag Joe Gifs. Hashtag Riber Power, hashtag Joe Gifs. Hashtag Joe's fucking jabronis or whatever stupid what, ass name. What the world is gonna be like when hashtags actually work in conversation when you have Google Glass and they just pop up what shit? What do you mean when it does? Uh no, no, they don't. Yes, they do. Hashtag what people want. I don't know, when you want something hard enough. <laughs> you want something hard enough? Yes. So, so the problem is... He sort of knows how armor works. This is actually really cool because I haven't done this in forever, so... Oh! Man, I just want to... I'm gonna start commissioning you to draw stuff for me. I'm just gonna draw all of you as actual RPG characters. Like, Anna's mm. gonna get her Shadowrun elf. What will I What will I- I told you that you are either a war cleric, war or trickster cleric, and or a uh, jack of all trades bard. I already told you. Trickster that. cleric, definitely. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Cause Shadow he just happens to do everything though, so I don't know. Maybe part bard, part cleric, or some crap. Hashtag, 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 pound sign. No, he's definitely a mid- Hey, oh, Evo is the carrying corp. Oh, shit. Hold on. Hashtag Evo is the caring corp. Don't steal our SH asterisk T Joe. So oh. Evo only five dollars. We're gonna write uh, your next drawing. Actually, you're just gonna write hashtag Evo cares almost as much as hashtag Aries, please. Oh god. That is your next drawing. Gosh. Dance, monkey, dance! <laughs> so what would uh, an old fashioned get me? What kind of commission can I get for that? Uh, you can just, uh, what? I'll just draw you the commission. You don't have to give me the old fashioned. No. Just give me the good, old fashioned Deal. out of, like, you know, the kind goodwill, of man. Come on, yeah. I'm gonna paint the head Shit silver things. on this. I don't know what I'm doing. Just Wait, paint. what do you want me to write? Evo. And under that, Aries. hashtag Evo cares almost as much as hashtag Aries. Hashtag. Then hashtag, hashtag. Evo. Hashtag, hashtag. We should, oh, we should get you into the HTC Vive, so. Oh yeah, I, I want to, but like, to I don't want to fight Zach for it, because he's gonna like just murder me with the stairs, I swear. You know like how when Medusa just turns people into stone, I feel just Zach just vaporizes everybody to ash. <laughs> oh wait, this is not how you spell Aries, whoops. <laughs> you mean, you said HTC, so I wrote an H. <laughs> like, <laughs> Filling my brain with these words. Hashtag HTC Aries. <laughs> the replacement for the vibe coming out <laughs> HTC Aries. December of 2025. You mean 2050? 2050. So pro tip about drawing, <laughs> reference everything forever, no matter what. Because you never know when you're gonna get asked to draw a red samurai that you've never seen before. Red Samurai, so five dollars, Steph will draw whatever you want on our whiteboard here. This is here. going fairly well, 
actually, I'm going to be pretty impressed. <laughs> hashtag, hashtag yeah. too. Like, come on, there that, you go. That's pretty you impressive. Win. You win. Green. We love our guns at hashtag Aries. Oh, that should be a shirt. We love our guns. I'm gonna make a custom shatter on shirt now. Okay, Wait, so what year in DFA, what year is it set in? DFA is set in 3023. Ah, 3020. Good year. Good year. Two years uh, before what takes place? 3025? Which is when the game which that's is getting released later. <laughs> will will be released, yes. Although that means I get to make a legend of myself before that. <laughs> you you do. Actually, one of the questions that came up is will Val Ravana and the other DFA cast members make it into the final game? And the answer is no, but maybe. So, uh, if I die well enough, if I make a legend of myself, I will live forever. It does not matter. <laughs> hey, there is the possibility that you'll show up as a uh, mech warrior that could be hired by players. And we have we have a great reputation right now. Wait, hold on. So for those of you guys, those of you, oh, bleh, those of you guys that don't know this, what are words? The players, DFA is basically gonna be semi canon, right? Or is it just full on canon? DFA is semi canon. It is written in a way that will it shouldn't counteract any canon that is out there, and uh, it will somewhat lead into and plays with ideas and story concepts that are in the BattleTech game. But, but the, we're not saying it's actually canon. But the players might get rid of the BattleTech game. Not as uh, story characters or anything, but uh, there will be, as part of the Battletech game, you're, you're managing a mercenary company similar to Masons and Marauders, and you will be able to hire up to three lances of mech warriors and mechs. Dude, fucking kill someone off. I want to get on that show. I want to be legendary. I want to be in a game. That's like, I, ch I have a childhood dream of being either made into an action figure or being in like a video I game. I can just really print you and you just be an action figure. Then you, you, will fulfill, <laughs> you will fulfill one of my childhood dreams. There you go. That's some odd, weird dream of mine, which would make me very happy. Hey, man, that's, that's your brain. We already have to get you back on the show as uh, Colonel McMurderface. Oh, is, my God. Nobody, no, nobody knows who that guy was. He as, was he an assassin? Was he a, tr a hired torturer? Was he one of the commanders? Who knows? Who knows? Convenient Ooh, open no. ending, guys. No. W T F. <laughs> you, were, you were a commander of the Highland Light, which is a mercenary unit that wasn't under your control of. Uh, mm -hmm. And who was Natalia Boulevard and Natalia Boulevard was your Lance commander. I saw it. So he was with those numbnuts? You were hired by Lord Mulligan Sr., but all the forces were actually yours. Ah, so I was just under contract with them. Yeah. So oh, so how... I never got you. Yeah, I never got you. Hmm. Pity. <laughs> all right. Hey, hey, Viking Lass, I got your tea. It's right here. I'm drinking it. Mm. Oh, this thing needs a mohawk. Oh. Everything's just gonna have a mohawk because we don't have the mohawk here. It's Thai bubble tea, Viking last. It's delicious. Now he's mm. just a Roman centurion mm. by accident. There you go. What? What? Get, get in there, Tony. Or, excuse me, get in there, Cromwell. Oi, Thomas. Wow, this is awesome. <laughs> We're the captain now. We've taken on the show. Zach's gone. We're okay. Peyton. I think Zach's gone. Is Zach I'm gone? waiting for clay to dry. Nah. Viking last is, quote, sick. Apparently, she's yes. sick. She has the plague, the con plague. Here's my, I have not seen Tiny Cromwell, which I gave to her to paint weeks ago. Tiny Cromwell? Oh, you had a little, yeah, a little, little Tiny orange. Cromwell? I believe he's been kidnapped, and this was all- She has absconded with the Tiny technique. Troll. technique. What did you say, Little Tiny Cromwell? I think he's, uh, I've gone and looked at his little bed, it's oh. empty, I have oh. no idea how he's so doing. That, that, you gotta use it next time you're with your lady. That's yes. You ready, you ready for a little tiny Chrome will to come out? <laughs> Whoa! Hmm. That that went to a place. Oh, uh, man. Not a Inevitable. Good place. You gotta use that. Inevitable. <laughs> Inevitable, guys. Hello, Anna. Dark places. Oh, did you find a little tiny Chrome? No, I don't want to see a little tiny Chrome right now. <laughs> I do not want to see him on this. Ooh, show. ooh. This oh, is he is terms of service. Oh, there he is. Oh, he's been primed. He's That's really nice. He's is primed it, up in everything. It's, is it Hero Forge? There's it little, is Hero Forge. Is tiny. it the good one? Because those things are really hard to paint. That's a little tiny chrome one. The material yeah, yeah. is like super difficult. I want to see. Oh, uh, because of the the three D plastic. Dep it depends on which one you. It's the, one you the buy, that's right? the higher. It's the transparent one. The oh, okay. It's slightly better. higher detail, yeah. but. Gimme, give gimme. Give Look at that. This this is cute. I mean, check out the girth on little tiny chrome all over here. Right. It feels oh, it feels nice. Oh damn. Yeah. Uh, feel, feel the weight on that thing. It's. 
Uh, the last we saw of Mordecai, uh, the moon rules, he was uh, wandering off, claiming he'd given up the, sh the Shadow Runner life. So, uh, I don't know. Guys, they're gonna break up the family! You have to tune in tonight at 6. Giving up the that. Shadow Runner life. He's turning in his sharkies. Um, someone asked if they could see it under the camera. You just held it under the camera. Oh, uh, little Tommy? Oh, can you pass little Tommy Crumb over here? Oh, here he is. Come here, little tiny Cromwell. Let's get on here. There you go. I'll give you a 360 degree rotation, too. He's holding his cup since he likes he likes tea. Yes. He's got holes. I heard something else, but it's fine. It, it was fine. tea. I heard the same fine. thing, okay, which is cool. impressive from a one syllable word. I know. <laughs> He's got a suit. Human brains are amazing. We lie to ourselves. This texture on the, this texture on the base right All there. The time. All the time. Aaron Hook once said, update on the last two weeks. Uh, we were fantastic. Uh, the MFEC uh, did everything gracefully. Uh, what do we know? Mainframe's an elf. Yes. Turns out. Dun dun dun. Um, LC can drive if you uh, have good life insurance. <laughs> um, and uh, we successfully didn't blow up our our person, our extraction. Holy shit, that was intense. Guy. Like, I was just back in the boards, like, what are they doing? Like, I swore everyone was gonna fuck That was that. really scary. I thought either Did you. Did I put him under the shield or put him under? What happens? <laughs> I thought either you or Mainframe were gonna die. Everybody was up, almost died up. this I, entire week. Well, I actually scared. misread my. I was looking at my character sheet, I'm like, I think I can survive. And then later I went back and I'm like, oh no, I would have been blown into a paste. So, uh. <laughs> so, like, oh, whoops, that would have happened. Little, little, Survivor. what Paddington would not have been able to get you back. Yes, surprisingly, Bear Cromwell didn't sky. take it through correctly. You have any idea what's in store for you guys tonight? Oh, this is little Cromwell. No, uh, we don't. Know we know it's been a month. Oh, um, a month? Wow. So it's been a month. All right. No, none of the corpse hired us last week. This is uh, what happens. But I understand there's a lottery now. So. Oh, shit's gonna get real. Mm -hmm. So again, um, for those who don't know, who might not know, or we have a Discord channel, which is basically. A lot of people on this ch on this channel just went, oh, go join Discord. Fucking half people don't even know what the hell Discord is. So Discord, it's kind of like a, it's designed for gaming, the type things. It's, it's, it's a chat client, I guess you could say. Let's, so it's like Slack or, Slack's another chat client, but Discord, we have a Discord server, a private Discord server, they're one of our partners. And you can join it and you can chat with, you know, all the mods, it's like a general chat, we play some video games, we have different rooms for all the video games, and you can choose to join one of the corporations. Um, thank you for the link. And you can help, kind of, you can talk with your fellow corporation members and decide what you do with your points and donations to get the runners to either go on missions or you can try to sabotage other corps. It's oddly, it's way more fun than I thought, straight up, it's way more fun than I thought it would be. Like, I, like our corp, just talking, I'm just seeing all the people, like last week was the first time we actually rolled to get the results and stuff. That's a good way to put it, but an advanced team speak type server. That's right. something a lot of people know. But you don't actually need a mic to go in and just chat on the nope. forums. Right. So. And, um, but yeah, last week was the first time we rolled to get different, you know, abilities from the corp. And some people were R&Ding, and some people were investing in stuff. There was like some some espionage things. Nobody attacked each other, which Zach was very sad about. So he probably wants someone to attack each other tonight. Well, disappoint your well they got to build up a little bit first. You know. That's true. Get get the corporation going. So maybe like to... maybe they all already knew that Zach was going to roll, so we're going to take any risks. Yeah, Zach mm -hmm. wants you to attack, but Zach wants that for his own entertainment, maybe more than your own corporation's survival. He's extremely chaotic people. Uh, but then again, so are some of the corpse in Shadowrun. Yeah, I got I got slapped for my corporation by Viking Lass over there. <laughs> that was great. Apparently, fucking sick. That sounded so bad. I don't. <laughs> you should all watch that video. It's amazing. So you're in what? Uh, which corporation are you in, Jeff? I'm in Aries. Aries. Aries, nice. son. Aries. You run the shit talking right here. I don't know if you saw that. Oh, yeah. that's, that's true. That's actually that's true. Evo does almost care as I much as Aries that. Corporation. Almost. Right. Ares uh, runs Knight Errant, Seattle Police Force. Makes a lot of guns. Yeah, we do. You're the Halliburton of the do Six you, World. Joe, do you prime the little clay bits or you just paint straight over it? I just paint it straight over them. Okay. Again, so we we can take some liberties painting these miniatures because. Because they get destroyed anyway. <laughs> they're gonna get destroyed. Fucking hell. Whatever. 
So oh, they just gotta be camera ready. This isn't like gallery golden demon. I golden see what demon. happens every week. Yes, I know. Jesus. Yeah, we have the show on Friday, Steph. It's called Death from Above. Is it? You want to tell me more about it? What happens? Yeah, let me tell you. They got um, this, this is the pork chop. Oh, excuse me, Mason's Marauders. We will forever be the pork chop express. No. Yes. No. <laughs> and oh, they they go on random missions and shoot some shit. Say they care, but as technology actually cares by feeding the people. That's my pitch. That is my pitch. <laughs> Oh, and Discord will have video chat soon. That is fun. Mm. Also, you just get to watch a Viking wreak havoc on all these beautiful mechs. Why not? Viking, you know, I'm gonna show this on the camera. Umber. Maybe I can get Tapio Express to sponsor me. <laughs> I'll plug their shit every day if I get free tea. You can't. You, you see, guys, if you want them to sponsor oh me, you can't plug them for free. Hey! <laughs> Aeronox 06! Oh, nice. Um, Full yeah, repair Aaron's... for the Griffin. Hashtag Defy. Hashtag Evo. Yes. Full repair for the Griffin. So you guys our... love me. Thank you. On our show on Friday, you can rep they can donate to help the face so hard. And the Griffin is that mech you're working on over there. Yep, it's my baby. Posited by baby. the lovely Valrabon. It is my baby. Koshi is probably my favorite mech in the show. Because it's the Deathless. Okay, yeah, you guys asked me about what the, what a Valravan is, right? So a Valravan in Danish mythology is a giant raven that has eaten the body, of, like bodies of dead soldiers in a battlefield. They're extremely malicious and evil, and what they seek to do is turn into humans and wreak more havoc on the world. That's me, a peaceless soul wandering around in a battlefield. In your mom's car. In my mom's car. Nice. And yeah, I was actually wondering what the hell Valravan was. Wait, so when you when, it, when you do death from above, can you just go caca? I could do that. That could just be my call. Ah! Caca. So ah! there is a uh, a BattleTech novel called uh, Far Country, and in Far Country they uh, they take a jump ship and they miss jump and end up on an unknown planet where there are bird people. And there is a guild in WO that is also fairly active on uh, BattleTechGame.com forums that uh, pretend to be these bird people, and they squawk and? all, yeah, they role play as the birds. Oh, that's awesome, guys. What, remind, what's the name for a flock of ravens? It's not a murder. murder. It's a murder. It's a murder's crows, but ravens oh. actually have oh, their yeah, own. Oh, that's different. Is it uh, a poe? I looked it up oh. I'm gonna figure that out. Wikipedia, Wikipedia, I need, somebody, we need you. Somebody, somebody help, help, somebody, help somebody us, look up what help. A group, Somebody look up what a group of crows is called. Ravens. Ravens, we, ravens. Know, we know yeah, crows are We know are crows are murders. A gaggle room? I also enjoy feeding crows and watching them eat. Oh, oh, is it? I think it is. I think that's right. An See, it's okay. Of ravens. Corvids get such bad raps. Seriously. Is that real? An unkindness of ravens? Yeah. Probably. <laughs> that's awesome. That's just so good. He's like, oh, look at that unkindness over there. You're like, what? This what? is a bad omen and witches, you know. But like at the same time. Unkindness of ravens. Is that Loki who had two ravens? Odin. Odin did. Odin did. Punin yeah. and Munin. Which, by the way, if you do watch, uh, is it, which one is it? The Avengers, when Loki and Thor are talking and fighting in the mountain, two ravens fly by, which is really cool. Nice. I think it's very, very awesome that someone gave a shit. Steph, yeah, you know some of the most random shit I've ever seen. I know, someone just call it me. shit. She calls it. Like, no. she calls it street smart. Hey Tony, how is how is your aliens knowledge? Your aliens world knowledge? Okay, it just should just be you and Zach, honestly. That'd like be aliens, the movie. Yeah, yeah like the whole aliens lore. I'm gonna upset you. I've never seen any of the aliens yeah, movies. Uh, That's one hey. of the giant gaps in my geek knowledge. Many of them aren't worth watching, but a few of them are really. I really. You should just should... watch all the aliens movies. Even Resurrection, yeah. I personally like grossly love. It's like a guilty pleasure. I freaking love Resurrection. Like, I know the entire plot of the, I can practically quote the first movie, even though I've never seen it. Really? Uh, Why is that? Because it's so, like, Quotable? generic. Well, not quoted as so much as I know everything that happens. Oh, okay. Alien 3 was the only one to miss. Joe Flacco. I watched that when I was six. That probably explains a lot about me. <laughs> <laughs> And I really actually liked it. I actually did not, wasn't freaked out. I'm trying to find a partner. For Trivia Hops? For Trivia Hops, he's on April 26th. That's Aliens Day. You, I, it's my day off. I can, I, can, I can come if you don't find anybody. I'll be there. <laughs> Best way to find because a partner. Because I love Xenomorphs. Best way to find a partner of, of a, a knowledgeable subject. Hey, if you can't find anyone, yeah, just give me a call. Hey, I did pretty good for the Kaiju ones, okay? That was super random. 
I accepted my fate as Uber's carry. I think if you do aliens, you need like an H.R. Geiger inspired unicorn costume to wear. Oh god. Just put a gigantic condom on your right. head. That's all it is. Oh, do you know what, to, what do you know what you guys have been going through on Shadowrun tonight, Tony? Um <laughs> Viking last is telling me to leave. Uh, Hi, Tony. And go watch Alien now. I'm not sure I have time. Uh, but we'll see. Uh, what was your question, Joe? Do you have any idea what's in store for tonight for the Shadowrunners? This is what I know. We've we've had a month. Wait, do you guys have a, do you guys have a team name? <laughs> Infect. All right, this is going to tell you something about uh, the older members. Uh -huh. Everyone sat there nice. behind the scenes and argued about what the name of our group should be. And then Claudia just shouted out in the middle of the game and was like, yep, that's it. Well, the squeaky wheel gets fixed, right? Yep. The louder you are, it becomes truth. Especially the there enthusiastic uh, high charisma squeaky wheel. High <laughs> charisma. Funny high charisma. For some reason. Right. What were some of the original names you guys thought of? Um, we liked Hack Rabbit. Hack Rabbit. All right. Um, and there was a whole list uh, that people shout out, but we wanted it to come out in the game, and Impact is what came out. So. You guys should make. It sounds like a fart. You're just like that's what came out. What? You should make a cover of Umbach. Handsome. Yeah. I'm sure. Uh, I feel like Zach would veto that. Uh, but I make it. I say yes. I say make it I so. Make it, that's make that's it that's so. Yes. That's constant. That's Emily right shouting ass from off camera. And if you haven't noticed, a lot of time it's fun to do stuff that Zach doesn't want us to do. Because you know, you know it makes you guys happy. Super high intensity team is unclaimed right now. I think uh, that's an acronym we will stay away from. Well, we got some weird stuff. Yeah, also, you, you, you have a seat, Tony. Have a seat. I will. I should just start painting things. You should. You randomly. should actually, please. I'm just In fact, here, design. paint this. Because now I have no more mechs to paint, so I'm just gonna do this. How about I just draw for you guys? Wait, you have no more mechs to paint? Well... Is there... Can I be free? I can give you this? What? No. You're, you're forced to say, I don't know what you thought you were doing when you walked in here. Um, I have a thing. Uh, then it's I think, all your fault. Uh, no, you, can't, you, no, you can't hang out with anybody outside. Just You're trapped in here forever. Is that true? Yes, Cromwell's been doing something over the last few weeks, so... Um, I ought to just let one of the corpse donate to hire him right now for what the off-camera stuff is. So, uh, yeah, what, what's Crom rates going rates, do we think? Well, what should Cromwell require to have been hired for the last two weeks by one of the corporations? It'll have zero effect on the corporate gang. Hey, Steph, turn that something towards me? I think it depends no on what Cromwell was doing for them. There. Right. He's mostly just going to promote yes. them. Yes. So, if, like, do do some TV ads, or these national ads, or these local ads? Uh, I think I mean, he's butlered for, like, personal security for the corporations for a couple of weeks. Oh, okay. Um, if he paying something, yes, uh, it would be a door. Uh, <laughs> a door? Probably the pieces of the door. It'd be like that, uh... It's like the Triforce, except it's in the end it's a door. It's not really... Anything right. of substantial power. It's just, I'm sorry. It would be that like collage physical art. Pieces of door like glued to uh, some kind of map um, and painted. The Triforce is not it? What? Did you just say the Triforce is Yeah, $100. All right. So the first corp who donates, uh, or first person who donates $100, um, hashtag Cromwell, and specifies a corporation with that donation. Uh, uh, Cromwell will have done some work for them, um, as effectively as Cromwell knows how. Come on, hashtag. Just with the face and smashing through if, it because you're a troll. If we get it before tonight. Come on, hashtag Aries. Hey guys, are you happy now? Juicy no more. Oh, what? Oh my god, that's awesome! You gotta draw those little jaws coming. Oh, he's nice. like, is he crouching down too? Holy shit. To draw all the things. That's what I used to draw in high school when I was just like, I'm so good at I'm so good at school, guys. Is that a top one percent? This is what I did instead. I drew dead things on. Draw him sitting on a triforce. What? Why sit on the triforce? Can you just have the triforce? He'll just have the triforce. He's, he's already crouching. Nice. Uh, the There's the triforce. Have triforce you... alien. God, that's really scary. <laughs> have you played with the top brush? No, I've not. I really want to, but I, I I'm really scared of trying to rip that away from Zach. And a lot of, a lot of people really have been, cool. He's a painting master, guys. A lot of people have been asking 
If we fix the controller, yes, yes we fixed the controller. Yes, we did. It was so Thanks. scary. Fucking god. Uh, but no one's told Kirby yet, yeah. so don't keep it that way. Yeah. That poor guy. Every tweet Kirby like, man. Jeez, man, we just had to, we got so much shit for like, you know, what happened and, oh god, it was terrible. They came and they just gave us a talk. <laughs> now they just like, we're on a warning now. <laughs> <laughs> what do on time there? They had to recall everything because it just wasn't, it just wasn't I ordered an eight. Do you pronounce it Vive or V? Vive. Vive. I ordered a Vive solely for Delt Brush. Does somebody want to name this I'm... guy? He has to have a name. Frank. Frank? Actually, well, if it's got the Triforce, should we name him Zelda? Zelda. Zelda, yeah, because that's Zelda. that's Zelda, yeah, sure. Well, Zelda. Oh, no! Zelda's the guy, the green guy with the sword, right? Hey! Uh oh. Uh oh, is that a Chromium? Paradigm ship Evo. You mean Evo? All right. Uh, Evo, you said that you would do what we wanted. How are you at headstands? <laughs> you guys are great. I'm terrible at headstands. Cromwell's great at them. Um, uh, you you know, body on that. <laughs> So you heard it. He went. He went to work for Evo. We'll We're gonna to find out everything scenes. Cromwell did for Evo. Uh, Cromwell actually would work for Evo for sure. They've got an orc on the board. They've got a free spirit. Oh, and they're yeah. very meta-human friendly. You even bunch of hippies or what? And uh, based on where I believe Cromwell's been, uh, uh, hippies would fit in well. What is it? April twenty-fifth is our tri aliens trivia, right? Twenty-six. Oh, whatever that Monday is. Twenty-six is Aliens Day. Okay, so that's a Tuesday. I know it's a Tuesday because that's the first. Do you guys know why April twenty-six is Aliens Day? Trivia question. LV four twenty-six. LV four twenty-six. LV four twenty. Oh, they didn't tag Cromwell, but they did pay the hundred dollars. So uh, uh, Cromwell's definitely gonna do some work for Evo. Maybe the missing hashtag will mean it didn't all go as well as hoped. <laughs> Stay Four tuned at six o'clock for Shatter on Corporate Sin. Six o'clock, we'll find out uh, how uh, what Cromwell Back got it. up to. Let's see how good your dice rolls are. Hey Steph, if what? Just have it. If someone donates, uh, I will get one of your drawings tattooed on there. Really? <laughs> so if someone wants to pay for that. Hey, you know, you know this little Do you curl get to guy. Pick the I drew him, so it's not gonna be a bad thing. I drew this guy. If somebody wants to paint that for me, if somebody wants to donate for that, I would totally do that. Dude, 100, uh, this is 150. Oh, if they, if they, would, pay for, if they would pay for the tattoo. Just to price match it, man. Oh, no. Hey, Joe, you want to paint on camera instead of next to it? Oh, ho, 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 ho. <laughs> Sass level 5,000. My how It's the, over 9,000! My how the tables have turned, Anna. My how the tables have turned. <laughs> so they're, they're really, they're really, these guys are really purple. This, if I would have known that, I would not prime this rusty color. I was thinking, oh, then like, we, you know, if the story. Well, no, we can, uh, we can make them rusty and that they have like highlights of purple. Hey! I'm just doing like the most outer layer of armor. Here we go. I have no joke. I just like saying hash setter dash crop. Setter dash crop. That's the hey. new pronunciation. Well, of... I'll draw a dragon then. Nice. Draw well, set a script. Draw a dragon in a BMW. <laughs> oh my god. Yes. That's <laughs> okay. That's basically Seder Nash Crop. You can right? tell when I've <laughs> yeah, yeah. Finally seen it. German Dragon Company. German Dragon Company. Is it dragons? I'm just having cars, guys. But I think I know what this is. I do find it entertaining that like. future Berlin and future Germany and Shadow Tech or in Shadow Tech. Shadow Tech. I've been Whoa, doing that all day. Where are you working, man? <laughs> uh, get the hell out! It's the sequel. It's it's where you get it's to play Shadow Run and Battle Tech. Six and a half world. Because you've bought all of the HUS's games. Um, Can you specify the tech sub subject located? Hey! Nice. No. How? Hey, I would draw it. All right, well, uh, two $100 donations, well, neither a, of which say. Well, that's a, he fucked it up and then he did it. He fucked it up again. <laughs> still doesn't say hashtag Cromwell, so. We'll get still, there. We still love you. By $1,000, we'll get yeah. there. <laughs> oh, man. But no, you, you can make suggestions on what the tattoo is and where, but I didn't get shit on my face or. My junk or any shit like that. I know you white wabbit, I know you do some weird shit like that. 
I gotta start speed painting this guy. Why are you guys here so early? Huh? Um, there is a Important. podcast being recorded oh. by the ladies of Impact. Interesting. Are you guys gonna do a Men of Impact podcast too? Maybe. But did they tell you about the the Men of Impact? Um, Calendar are we doing? Yeah. <laughs> Oof. It's just, Oof. It's, just coming. it's just two months. It's just mm. it's two months. <laughs> it's just two months. No, it's it's it, actually six different outfits for each of you. That would be MC. Uh, it, it'll be the summer calendar, so it'll just be two months. MC calendar. Oh man. Yes, I'm gonna fit this dragon in the BMW. This is why it's gonna be funny, guys. Jesus Christ. Fit that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, nice dragon. Yeah, you need to get help for sure. Do you know how you fit a dragon into a, let's say, a Safeway bag? Is this an Asian joke? No. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> That's That's a dad joke. jokes again. So how can you fit a, how can you fit a dragon, like a big old dragon like that, into a Safeway bag? It, how, it's, how do you fit a dragon into a Safeway bag? It's, it's kind of like an anagram puzzle. So basically, the word Safeway, take the letter, take F out of safe and then F out of way. And that's how you fit a dragon into a Safeway bag. Dad jokes. Puzzle for all you guys. Way to go. You got stuff? Hey -o. Are you painting these now, Joe? Some of the things I repaired and built. Is this for me? What? Hashtag Aries would love to have hashtag Grom will come work for them. We have Joe and Firearms. We do. Name drop. <laughs> you, you like your guns, right? Fire. Are you are you now a six world NPC as well? I'm I'm an I am in Aries. I guess everybody is. Have you figured out the puzzle? What stuff? are you? What are you gonna Joe, look like? Wait, what? It? Yeah, we'll paint those. How do you fit a dragon in a Safeway bag? No, I don't. No, I don't want to play your word games. Th know. Thank you, Strike Manta. Did you do it? I'm not watching, so it's fine. What does? Yeah, what does Six World Joe do? Don't forget the flag. Oh, you son of a bitch in your flag. He runs you a go. Put your dragon in a double. Wait, hashtag Seder Krupp. How do you spell that? Seder Krupp. I don't know. S A E. D-R-K-R-U-E-P. Uh, hyphen. <laughs> I just pushed buttons back there. I don't know how to spell Cedar Crow. So watching paint. Sorry, I'm so sorry, Dragon. I'm so sorry. Is it, uh, it's K-R-U-P-P, right? Yeah, there you go. That's what the other one is. There you go. I got that part right. I always do two U's instead. Because you guys are so helpful. Cider. Cider Crow. Cider crop. Cider crop. Oh, I had dad jokes for days, Morris. I had dad jokes for days. No. <laughs> no, I only no have so more. many days. I only have so many what days. What's the other one you had? Hey, Nate, where does a Battletech army, or sorry, where, do, yeah, where does a Battletech general hide his armies? Where does a Battletech, where does a Battletech general hide his armies? Where does a Battletech general hide his armies? Do tell. In his sleeveys. Thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> this is watching paint this dry. Is me throwing up. I'm doing stuff. Uh, have us back again. This is gonna be great. You like Maybe how, something to drop. You like how I'm relating them to the world? I, I I like the effort a little bit. Hey oh paradigm shit. Wow. That, that would be uh, kind of <laughs> the, the rope and the bar joke. For three hundred dollars, a three hundred dollar hashtag Cromwell. This is kind of heartless ads, expensive, but still have Cromwell join hashtag Evo. Oh, nice. Well, for three hundred dollars uh, and a finally a correct hashtag. Hey, oh, white wabbit. Steph, your art is very impressive, at least as much as Zach's. Did it also cost you 120000 in all your future earnings? <laughs> <laughs> we can discuss oh, that in paper later. Funny. So, uh, we, we should draw something for, for White Wabbit for that. Draw, what are you drawing right this now? This is Cromwell saying he wants you. Draw, draw Cromwell saying White Wabbit in like a little cartoon bubble thing. I also just love trolls, so. Mm hmm. I was watching Pain Dry. We are repairing mechs for Death From Above on Tuesdays and Fridays. I am painting the enemy griffin. Gonna go toe to toe with. Tune Friday. See how that's gonna work out. Got it. Not gonna lie, it'd be hilarious if this death, if the, the enemy griffin Death From Above's you. 
Hey, oh, I got death from above by, by a well, but by what was it? Well, quick strike. Quick strike did death death from above. Koshi's also a, like been pretty heavily messed with. It doesn't operate like most other griffins. Oh, no. Other griffins aren't quite as punchy. Yeah. No, yeah, mine's a modified what one S, I believe. Yeah. So, I, I do know some of my <laughs> battle tech stuff. Would you say this is Narl's breed? Oh, let's paint this. We gotta prime these all this color so we can prime that later. We'll have April paint those tanks. April, okay. we're leaving some work for you. Viking Glass, we're leaving some work for you. It's the weirdest color scheme ever, but hey. Yeah. We'll throw some washes on it. It'll look, it'll look great. It'll, it'll, look it'll, great. it'll all work out. Yeah, it'll look great. It'll look great. <laughs> paint there. Oh, no. Nice. Goddamn. It's a good Cromwell. Can we get a Cromwell accent, please? Uh, can you get a Cromwell with a wall? Who, who, who's, who gets, who, cork, which cork gets this? Uh, a white rabbit, white rabbit, right? No, uh, oh, paradigm wow. shift, right? For eval? No, that was white rabbit. Uh, white rabbit did that, right. Let's say, hey, white rabbit. Is there something? I give him a little... Oi. He's talking to you, white rabbit. I can make him talk shit to white rabbit somehow. White rabbit likes to talk a lot of white shit. White rabbit. That would be very fitting for white rabbit. Say white. White. Okay. What? What? Nice right. How's your painting going over there? <laughs> you want to stick your stick your guy in there? Stick your guy in the camera. Yes. Yeah. Show people how bad it. Is. Make, oh god. So here's what Nate's painting here so far. So we're going with a weird color scheme, but. Uh, I believe that was your choice. Wow, look at this one. Oh, shit. It's really weird seeing like a brand new griffin. I'm kind of jealous. <laughs> you don't damage it. You that doesn't have their whole. You know, you know what? You, <laughs> you know what? Say, let's fist fight on the ground That'd without so our mix. You say, so great. We well, say, I just want to run in and punch shit, man. I have anger problems. No, it's not anger, it's rage issues. Yes. It's Tom, rage. It goes that. away really quickly, but uh, <laughs> it's there. All right. So once again, donate five dollars and Steph will draw. You know, I'm, quick I'm little, still just drawing stuff. Quick uh, little doodle on the board here. We're totally pimping her out. We are painting. I'm painting Griffin. We still got for, for some of those new folks. Let's show off the Victor. We're gonna leave this for Viking last to paint on her show, since apparently she's sick. <laughs> Fucking bullshit. So they got that, got a big old guns and arms. Really it has a whole center region over right here. <laughs> we got a leg over here, we got a leg right here. Look at that, you get to paint this, Viking Lass. This is all you. 1v1, it's gonna be great. <laughs> 1v1 me mid. Uh, you probably actually don't play mid. I like, oh, yeah, no. You don't play mid? I, I don't like mid. Ah, oh, I love mid. Victor's got all it. Look at this. Like, what is this? This looks like something. Ah. Hey, Steph, do you sell any of your art? Not yet. I'm working on it. Yeah, You'll know on Twitter idea. though. This looks like this almost looks like a poor man's ass. I need to talk to you about it after. Sure. Let's show up his back. Let's show up his mech butt. I don't know which side is his butt. It looks like, I don't know. Yeah, this thing looks really cool. So you should have Viking Lance, you should have a good time painting this tomorrow. I'm pretty sure Joe didn't even really think about the color scheme, he just chose the most difficult thing possible. Here you go. Viking Lass. This is for you. <laughs> Well, I said we could choose enemy one. I'm like, hey, we haven't had like a reddish squad. No, no, red's time. fine. I like it. I like rustic. Rustic is great. The Nick comes. Oh, and then someone says, oh, they need to be purple. Like shit. I didn't say they need to be purple. You said Waterhouse Merrick's colors, and I said purple. Oh, that was a good hint. They, they, have, they have some hints of House Merrick. Thanks. Oh. <laughs> hints. The hues. So I need something. I need some purple on the chest. Where should I put? So what's coming up on Friday? Friday. Friday. The whole day, or are you talking about? No, I'm talking about death from above. Death from above. So we have found ourselves on a planet that I cannot pronounce. <laughs> 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 um, we have. So we're. I know we're going against the Magistracy, which I'm not very happy about. Oh, the I what? actually kind of like Kiala. Let's say it again. The Magistrix. The Magistracy. Magist yeah. So Magist you say ma ma Magistracy. The, ma the Magistracy. You know what? Mag you try talking with a forked tongue. Oh, no, I'm trying Magistracy. I you did that to yourself, no sympathy. No, I do, it's great. It, it does actually look awesome to you, but... I can't say much. Except when I get really excited, it just starts to split open and I just can't talk anymore. It's great. It's, it's fantastic. Oh. Um, so... We're supposed to help evac what's left of this planet, including nobles, artisans, scientists, but it's extremely shady. 
I don't like getting jerked around. You're extremely shady. I'm always shady, dude. I live in the dark. It, it does smell like a fucking trap, that's for sure. Yeah, I don't like it at all. And it's a trap. We... God, I so a here's my question for anything. you. What do you think you're, you're uh, I guess we can call them your benefactor still. What do you think they're after that they're, they're sending you this? I don't like this. It's sneaky. It's too sneaky. It's you're just liberating tech. the nobles, artisans, and scientists. Yeah. You're leaving all the like, the schlubs. Well, this planet is pretty much like at the very brink of defeat now. So oh. it's under like complete collapse. House America just wants everybody out but they don't have enough forces to do it, apparently, so we're gonna be fodder, which I don't really like. And we're facing um, a very big battalion. Well, I guess they're split, and they are really, they're really good at tactics and infantry, and it's really scary. Is that food? It sure is. Ugh. Guess who brought this for us? I'm bad at guessing games. Vanderlees. Vanderlees. Okay. Vanderlees. Vanderlees. Yay. Yay. It's uh, so Thank thoughtful, you. Vanderlees. It's very nice For making my stomach naughty in itself. On our tr we have a treat stream. My yeah. hands are covered in really toxic clay. Well, then I'm gonna hold on to this. Okay, thank you. <laughs> Thanks, Vanderlist. That's Emily. Emily, hello. Hi. Hello. We've eaten so much pizza this week. <laughs> it's awesome, but I'm like, holy Is shit. Is the slice from last yeah. night still around? I think I want to try to get something. I'm gonna hide it in that box. It's <laughs> a so, fun fact. I mean, guess Zach already found out, so I guess let's let the cat out of the bag. So. Or the kaiju out of the bag. The kaiju. That was so scary. So me, and Lor Lauren, and Steph, and I, it's two of me, <laughs> we were playing some Overwatch and some Here's the Storm last night. Lauren's getting ready to leave, so she's trying to be all sneaky. Okay. Bye, guys. Bye, guys. To open the door. Sneaky Kaiju enough. Kaiju bolts out of the fucking door. <laughs> and runs, just goes, starts, and we're like, starts running. oh, shit. And it's dark. It's 1130. And we're all... So Lauren starts chasing him, Steph starts chasing him, I grab this box of pizza, I start running down the street with a box of fucking pizza. Shouting, Kaiju, I have pizza, as if he cares. <laughs> pizza! <laughs> pizza! I think you threw the box too at him at one point, that was I, great. I, I threw the pizza slice like a good 20 feet at him, <laughs> yeah. to try to, so he could maybe smell it. He didn't care, he went out to go take a poop. And then he just kept running, I, I scared him with a slice of pizza. <laughs> yeah, right. that was great. Eventually, luckily, we caught him like almost fucking mile away. Yeah. And when he started pooping. Like two buildings over. It was so scary. So two buildings over a mile, which is a mile really close. <laughs> we ran from, it was dark, okay, and it was running. Look, where the Yojimbo crashed, there's just a lot of space between buildings. There is, so <laughs> we have to go on a night mission and go rescue Kaiju. Uh, that was great, that was really scary. See, Kaiju actually listens, okay, not all the time. About 10% of the time you he listens to You clearly are not here enough. I know. I, I go <laughs> take Kaiju out for walks pretty regularly, actually. That's different than a leash when he just bolts no, I mean, out the I, front. I don't when he comes into a new place and is like extremely excited. Oh, jeez, that was so really scary. I'm saying like full I'm proud mode. of the progress I've made with that dog, and that, that's all I care about. Yeah, he kept biting my hands, so I just like, just like, just sat on him. Check that dog. Like, All right, I need to go eat, and I need to go figure out what Cromwell did for Evo. So, uh... Hashtag Evo, thank you Paradigm Chef. Cromwell's doing your bidding. Uh, your bidding. I'll be back at 6, but stay tuned in. I assume we're doing corporate news at 5.30. Heck yeah. That's a good assumption. Oh, bring that building over here, Mark. Check out this lovely b destroyed... B <laughs> Right, it's right in front of the camera. Yeah, yeah. Yep. it's a just, lovely destroyed building, Mark. Do you know what? What can fit perfectly in there? Me. Oh, just paint it. That's what I've been saying. I, sh I said you guys you should like paint my tattoo. Post a building, and then just. Hey, look at that. My snake is pink now. Maybe that? the bay that can hide. Magic. Maybe bay is back in Destroyed building. Well, that's actually the reason why all my tattoos are black and white, is so I can color them in when I'm really bored. Really. No, yes, sure. Is that a true story? Yes, because that's now. amazing. It is now because it makes it so. <laughs> that, that'll go well through jumping out okay, of the bush. I don't know if is now means that it was true. It has always been true. Time is only a concept. Everything is, Time is exists. Not is that what you're saying? In infinity, in the infinite. So, once again, watching paint dry, repairing oh. mechs for Death from Above on Friday. I'm here with Nate from Hairbrain Schemes. Battletech and Shadowrun Extra. Extra. I mean, like, I, no, I wasn't shaving and. Like slipped, and that's not how your tongue gets split. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, no, yeah. I I, I do buzz definitely. my own hair. It blind actually. We also have Steph, aka Valravon, from the Death Room Above show, ah! who pilots. Koshi. Thank you, Griffin. Griffin. Does your mech have a name? Yeah, it's Koshi. 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 Yeah. Koshi. Yeah, he is Koshi the Deathless, a very another evil evil figure of mythology who likes to steal beautiful girls, and he never dies because he's the Horcrux dude who's like. 
hidden his soul inside of an egg, inside of a duck and a goat or something like that. I think it's really complex little uh, Russian doll of animals because Baba Yaga loves him. You know. And Baba Yaga is a badass. Oh. Yeah, Baba Yaga's a badass because if I play Tribe 6, I'm a Yaga jacker. You know. So I mean, she also has a house that like chicken walks legs. in chicken legs. Yeah, she has a floating mortar. She has the original stick. battle neck. It, it's... Yeah, she does. Chicken and a little, little flying thing and yeah, it's great. And if you've got any questions on painting miniatures or any techniques or anything like, feel free to ask as well. You don't, you know. Or I can just about fill our... you full of random mytho mythological facts that are kind of accurate, and maybe Strix will yell at me later. <laughs> I don't know. Or if you have any questions at all, holler at us. We can answer questions on BattleTech, Shadowrun, food. It's inside a bone needle inside of an egg. There you go. Random so. mythology. Hey, I'm sure we can answer a lot of tattoo questions. We'll answer whatever you guys want. It's like a level it of does, Doesn't hurt. Star. Okay, so when Lauren wrote that hilarious little character that was in a coffee shop covered in tattoos, that's me. That's me in a coffee shop. That's where I am. Yeah. That's oh. what I say to everybody. I hate nice tattoos. They hurt. I hate that question. Oh, does it hurt? Or the worst ones are when you get like you're out somewhere and someone's like, oh, yes, are important. Someone says, oh, you have tattoos. I have tattoos too, and they show you like their tattoo on the ankle they got, and like their. 2002 vacation to Hawaii or some shit like that. You're like, that's bang. That's, that's totally the same. Totally the same. <laughs> Absolutely. They're part of the club. They just want to be accepted by. by the... That's the, that's the other one. Yes, Thursday was Thursday. I'm not sure about June. Do you know? Probably sounds right. But I knew th Thursday is Thursday. Wednesday is Woden's day. There's a Freya. I think Friday's Frey or Freya. It's fun day. Freak. Maybe it's Freak. Fun it. Fun in day. Is this the... Yes, you need to guess again, Viking, so I can draw and ramble, because it's hilarious. Hipster <laughs> joke, God damn it, white webbit. So yeah, donate $5, Steph here will draw whatever you want on our board back here. $30, she's already got a couple of those. She yeah, won't. I do, it's, it's great. So far I have, and my choice is gonna be pretty cool. Uh, white Wait, rabbit we... gave me Aaron Kirby with a broken lightsaber and the look of defeat, which is gonna be very fun. And at the age gave me Zach face palming to later slip to Claudia. So she can always have senpai in her pocket. What are you thinking for your look of choice? I don't know, I'll think about What's it. What's that look of choice? Your drawing of choice. You probably just get a wolf, a wolf dragon. I always just draw wolf dragons. Wolf dragons? Yeah. Is he talking about the Girl Scout tattoo? No. No, let's talk about it. We're just no, talking just about... random experiences with people asking really funny questions, you know? I had, I had an old woman tell me, you're gonna regret that someday, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, okay, thank you. Yeah, when, huh. I, when I'm old enough... Well, you can't really say anything else, and I'm like, okay. I'm glad you feel that way, <laughs> but... Yeah, when I'm that old, the point where I wouldn't even think about regretting my tattoos, I'm gonna be more worried about if I can, you know, if, even if I'm wearing pants or if I know where I am, or if I can yeah. pee on my own. I don't give a shit about tattoos when I'm old, you know. I, mean, I just pissed myself, it's your problem now. <laughs> I'm like, God damn it, my, my back went out again. Oh, but these, ta these tattoos though, that's, yeah. the, that's my main problem right now. All right. Mm -hmm. So I think I'm gonna do that, do a wash on those, give them a quick detail. What the fuck am I gonna do with this thing? I don't know what I'm gonna do with this. All right. Yeah, it's pretty much, and so opinions are great. Size and ass, where's the most painful Where's painful the most painful spot? Oh, um, uh, I wasn't ready for when I got my fingers tattooed. That was, that was, that was crap. Um, this sucked right here. That made like my ribs also like tweak out. And then this part is gross. That was it, though. Yeah, like, towards this, the This, this tendon bit right here didn't hurt. It was this gross feeling, and I wanted it to stop. I didn't like the elbows. Elbows, yeah, elbows. elbows. Bad, because it Look at this shit! It vibrates, like, your, all your bones. Mm -hmm. you're like, oh, and it's God. the worst, yeah, it's the worst. For Make me, sure oh, got, right on the, the sternum right here. Like, Ooh, I didn't get that yet. That! I know, I know the center will always hurt more, like, septums, that sucks so much. Uh, getting, like, down my spine. So I had, like, I have this tattoo, like, right on my shoulders and like one side of my body didn't mind liner and hated shading but the other side was a complete reverse so it was really really weird like like i have a, I have a very high pain tolerance but my chest was like ooh, ooh man i gotta i need to take a break from that one that chest i just is... learned to like enjoy the fuzz like so getting tattooed it, people will tell me like they don't ever want to because they're afraid of needles it's kind of very different it's not the same as getting a shot people think the needle stay. It's more like feeling the edge of a knife go across your skin. How would I say that? Because it, it, it's going up and down. It is, so. it does. It does It does puncture your skin, but the feeling of like a needle in your arm isn't the same thing. It's like that little moment in between, you know, when you're picking a scab and it kind of hurts, but it feels good at the same time. That's what it's like for me. 
I find it, especially <laughs> hearing like the needles going, I find it kind of relaxing. Like certain spots, like arms, like don't phase me at what all. What tattoos I, do I have? I can fall asleep. Um, I don't know if I can show this. Like instead of painting neck, since this camera's not being used, you can kind of see these, right? <laughs> Anna, get on this. No. Yes, I that's a that's, that's a lot of that's a very long story. Maybe maybe if Zach ever wants to have me on Honesty Hour, because I can get really dark and ramble forever in circles around myself. Oh, it's amazing what Honesty Hour is. Hey. Yeah, it's gonna be great. That'd be fun. Oh god. Oh god, is this something for me? Is it for me? Zach's donating. Zach, I didn't even know you're here. Oh, you have a high pain tolerance, Joe. That's cute. <laughs> oh, Zach. <laughs> Yeah, it was funny, I remember when Zach cut his finger, I was like, hey, Go! Oh, yeah, oh, that was so scary, I saw that, that was really, really scary. The... I was like, I didn't know how bad he got himself, so I was like, I was like, you cut your finger, you'll be fine. You know, I've worked in kitchens a bunch, I cut my finger. Oh, yeah, that's true, and the burns, man. Oh, those burns suck so bad. Oh, they're still in my arms, you can see this my... This is not arm. an acorn. <laughs> what are you doing? It's a heart. A oh, heart? <laughs> Random. Well, you said pain, so it's just like, oh, I know it hurts. This hurts all the time. Using your artistic freedom. I will interpret whatever. I don't care. The five dollar donation. Steph will draw something on the board for you. Thirty dollars. She'll draw you your own personal sketch. And even if you don't give me suggestions, you can give like some money. I'll just draw whatever I feel like that you are implying because you get money and you deserve a drawing. Yeah, you, you just keep on. You just keep paint drawing stuff. Why thing. not? We'll keep painting mechs over here. This kind of works. This yeah. is fine. This is fine. I like this. It's great. Yeah. Let me just give it a wash and see where you Yeah, I'm just gonna paint like the top layer of this yeah. jetpack. Yeah, on. I think we'll nice. wash this guy and it'll be be okay. See, Maro, <laughs> I wrote honest hour. She sounds like she's down for some depressing conversation. Hey, dude, I get really dark. It's great. The world is sad, but I still like to make it kind of hilarious. Blake Sheldon doing under. Thank you, Monora. So any questions, feel free to ask what shadow on battle tag, whatever you want. Painting, of course, though, since we are painting all these mechs, we all have... I feel like I'm a pretty experienced painter now. I wouldn't say I'm the gritty. You know, I'm not gonna win, like, a Golden Damon Award or anything like that. It's gonna look great on screen. That's all that matters, besides... It'll look good like before it's like destroyed. Like glasses is gonna destroy it. Yes, yeah, so how exciting... Like your soul. Just your soul. Destroy it. Painting. Weird scene. Who are these, from? Who are these guys? Harcourt's... Destructors? Yeah, there's yeah. like Harcourt's aliens and something else. What is, what is I, Harcourt? I, was, I wrote that down. I'm really bad it's at battle tech work. Mercenary. I know nothing about this place besides the punching things. Do I like painting? I like so. Before I got into painting miniatures, all my painting consists of walls and shit like that. But I love painting miniatures. Start somewhere. It's almost like zen-like and relaxing. I mean, it's not. It it's is. not the most relaxing when I got Zach glaring at me saying, "Keep talking, keep talking." It's also really nice. Get that, like, Four or five minis going at once, just so you don't like rush all the washes. Cause that's my biggest yeah. problem right now. Is that I'll start doing some shading washes or some hues, and I just rush it. and It just turns. Gross. I came to painting through painting Warhammer armies, so I got very used to like I paint one shoulder of every guy, and then yeah. I go back and I paint. And this keeps me from like ruining everything that I've done. And especially I did. So I, I play all those zombicide games from Cool Mean or not. I'm not sure if everyone's familiar, but there's like 70 fucking zombies in there, and. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, when you you have to paint them all in like you know ways, kind of get like assembly line going of like each set, and then just you know paint the clothes on each one, clothes, the skin, wash, 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 and just go down the line. Otherwise, you're gonna go insane. It'll take forever. I also really like doing it that that way because as soon as you finish the first one, you're like, oh, it's it's done. You see it, and then it's a real quick finish to get to the rest of them. Yeah, especially yes, yes, with washes, yeah. like you actually do want those things to dry, or else a you, lose, you lose everything. A oh, Joe versus Zach stuff, but see, I can't. Paint like Zach can paint, and I can't yeah. draw. I can write things. Favorite color of like glitter? Probably silver. Yeah, or... I I am shitty at painting. I'm really bad at painting. Color theory is not a thing that made sense to me. These are LA King jersey. <laughs> these are Shapeways minis, Nagy. So we actually primered them with like this little red primer, kind of instead of doing a base coat, save us some time and go that way. Oh man! All right. Watch chess stuff. Read it. Yell out these questions, though. What? Y'all have these questions, start from the top. What do we miss? What do we miss? What do I miss? I don't know. Questions. questions. Yo, what's questions. your favorite color glitter? I answer that, silver or orange. Oh, do you have an... Actually, I don't know if I should answer that. Fuck, skeleton get... with a flesh coating of desire. What? <laughs> I terminate anyone called John Car... Oh, no. There's I don't get that reference, I'm sorry. Bob hey, is... what armies did you have? I played Eldar, and then I played Grey Knights, and now I play Tau. 
so much of those mechs. So how do you clean them? Uh, and answer we don't have enough time to hilariously. <laughs> uh, to answer Bob Ninja's goldfish question, so these basically come, they, they come fairly clean. Um, you can see, you know, they are 3D printed like in things like this. So it's not super clean, but it's not like the normal, really heavily raised ridges that you see on all the 3D prints. Um, they probably could use a good sanding. Yeah, I was gonna say, if you were gonna paint these for like a show or to like really clean up, you would wanna sand them a little bit. I don't know if you guys can see that. But um, yeah, there's no flash on them. They're actually coming out pretty clean. Uh, I don't know if they clean the flash on them or not. They are from Shaker. Yo, what do you think of people eating their steak well done? They're monsters. Steak? Oh, Jesus Christ. God. That's not a way what? to eat steak. Why do you, there's what? no other reason to buy to have a steak besides it bleeding. If you wanted a well done steak, you could have just eaten charcoal. Or a boot. No, but yeah, they, they come out pretty clean, but you know, they're not. That's what we're doing. They no, were, I'm they not a monster. <laughs> we're not opinionated. Could be more. Would well, be more wolf dragons. Oh, I really appreciate Tyler's education. Dude, Tyler's amazing. He has so much stuff in his brain. Like I asked him some random things about Shadowrun. Like who is this? If this person were a dragon, who would they be? And it was great. It was fantastic and so very accurate. Like the it whole reason why I'm here is like, I don't have no idea about anything about Battletech. It's says I'm a robot and it's just mostly that I trust him and I trust his idea of stories, good storytelling. Like I'm playing a half Cretan, half um, Russell Hogg, because I know he wants to write a better Cretan, you know, storyline, character, country. Oh, well, I, I, I guess space, space, whatever. I don't know. <laughs> Eat versus. Well, naked. Not doing that. It's true. I'm a Viking. Naked answer is. Dyrus asks, why does that victory have all the hard points filled out on it? What does that mean? Wait, what? <laughs> I don't even know what that means. So, uh, uh, what they're talking about is. Uh, on mechs, there are hard points, which are where you can oh. attach weapons. Uh, in games where you can customize them, like in the tabletop game or on uh, MWO, oh. uh, a lot of the games use uh, this idea of hard points of where you can attach weapons. So they're asking why the victor has all of the all of their weapons completely filled out, and I don't really know the answer to that other than that's I think, how I think we because probably the models, got the three D model. Yeah, the models like they're pulling out they're pulling from Mech Warrior, right? Yeah, we're pulling yeah, them from so Mech Warrior online. Like, so uh, it's yeah, there's the stock it, model it's gets really. Like tricky, I think. I think eventually, since these limbs are socketed, there might be some really cool options for customization eventually. But right now, since we know. don't get time, <laughs> we just kind of order them. <laughs> yeah, uh, once we have more assets that we, uh, we being HGS, have developed for the, the game, there's the potential that we can have different types of arms that we can put on. Uh, we might have to redesign some of the models to do that. Some of them are yeah. already luckily designed to do that way. Most of them, we've tried to make it so that they're all in their component pieces. So for like, for example, right now, because uh, he's really mov movable. I don't know if you yeah. ever noticed, but like the Griffin cannot move its joints. Neither. I, I mean, you saw maybe you caught uh, caught us trying to wishbone the Centurion apart. Nope. Yeah. So we're uh, learning. You can also tell that like in game right now, Talon has a PPC on his arm, but currently it, the model is still showing an auto cannon. Yeah. And so we'd like to be able to show like to pick those things better, but. Uh, it's expensive and we'll mm -hmm. hopefully get to a place where we can yeah. do that. I mean, so right now we're still working out kinks in the show, making it better, making it like more interesting, Steph, Steph. Adding, adding cool stuff. Steph didn't drop the knowledge. So Steph, what mech would you pick to fight in other than the one that you already have? Uh, Tyler showed me the Shadowhawk and that would be my dream mech. Shadowhawk, sounds fun. Yeah, really nice. Uh, and that's another special model made for uh, punching. I think uh, the quirk's a little more balanced. Just like better rollout. Yeah, I do, dude. I just play a barbarian all the time. I told you about the favorite monster thing. Did so, you? like, uh, I had a fun question yesterday, about which is my favorite D and D monster. That's kind of like asking what your favorite color is. Like, I just love monsters in general because I think it allows you to, ex ex you know, explore different facets of character. It's very, very cool. But. One of my favorite monster experiences in D&D was uh, I was fighting, we got stuck in a graveyard in a crypt and I was fighting a undead minotaur as my barbarian and I decided to try and charge it and push it into a beam of light. Um, so I strength checked it um, and we tied, but the minotaur had a higher modifier and thus won and I got gored and was knocked unconscious. But it was one of the coolest moments in D&D for me. <laughs> but I also for, also I forgot that I was in a rage and I actually got advantage on strength checks. Which, by the way, if you ever played Barbarian, don't ever forget that. It'll save your life. That's the entire reason to play Barbarian. No, Bear Totem, dude. Freaking, you are so Bear Totem makes you resistant to ev all damage except psychic damage, dude. I was like a walking meat shield. I'm just made of hit points. Oddly, I've never played D and D. Grasshopper, I will look Pathfinder? it up. Pathfinder? Nope. I've never played an RPG. I've always wanted to try. Hmm. 
I've played I played the shit out of D and D online. Uh, I will almost. check out the guys. So I do want to just like rummage through all the mech stuff now because I'm starting to recognize things and just look at a mech and look at a roll and go, oh that sucks, you know. So this so is really exciting. So you just the center portion, purple. It is always intense. Yeah, yeah I heard some no. hilarious stories about that, especially with the uh, the new abyss, or well, new-ish abyss. Um, Side campaign, I guess. Clan Invasion era mechs. What is that from? There's a clan invasion. So, era. in our era, 3025, clans are ah, not really 30, known. 3025, um, good year. Good year. I would love but to. But in do... the future, uh, in 3050, the clans invade, and the clans have a lot higher uh, technology than the Aesir do initially because they are descendant from the Star League Defense Force, which left with pretty much all of modern military technology, and they didn't kill themselves with oh. it. So. So podcast, uh, regular coats. We're just doing regular coats just because dry brushing. Like I would love to see more dry brush finishing, especially like. I'm oh my dry, god! I'm gonna dry brush this guy. This so, guy. On this one, I'm doing the quick base coat to kind of get some colors where I want them. Then I'm gonna do um, a wash or two. I'm just gonna do probably like a straight, you know, dark wash, mm -hmm. rather than you know different colored washes. And then I'm gonna do some highlights, some dry brushing, and all that fun stuff, and. Make this the best looking griffin on the battlefield. But Cabby, you have no idea. Like, Mandy is still everywhere on the floor. Like, there is still just blood everywhere. It's ridiculous. She's just everywhere, with us forever. Yeah, uh, <laughs> yeah I was like, oh, Mandy. <laughs> look, at, look at all Mandy. Look at all of her. It's just everywhere. <laughs> like, there's like little smudges where you could tell we tried to clean it out, and there's just like huge donuts of just blood smeared here. What it's was amazing. really funny shooting that and getting the blood splatter? <laughs> Destiny Gaming TV, thank you for following. Hello. Hey. Hey. Hi. Hi. You know about infantry are slow moving? Get over that great. Yeah, yeah, and I know, I know, like Tyler wants to play around with a lot of um, cool tactics and units that are usually uh, just ignored in BattleTech, and he keeps talking about urban mechs. I don't urban know. mechs are really good in urban settings. So there I think go. one of my favorite mechs is the Blackjack. What is that considered? Blackjack is considered a medium mech. Oh. That was fun. Yeah, I got to, I got to shoot the laser and punch it in the leg. Yeah, that was really rewarding. Get punched. No one else is doing the punching, so of course I have to do the punching. We haven't had a death from above in a while. I want to fucking. I know, I know. Okay. Ugh. I, I wanted want, to. Actually, my my secret hope is that eventually you guys stumble across where they're developing the hatchet man and you get the axe. Hey, well, yeah, I know, I know. We were talking about swords and someone mentioned the axe and it was like, yeah, I, I know, I know, this, this very legendary axe. It's always the fire axes that just break the game. But we do have info on the hatchet man, so you know. And you're working for Lao, which. Won't help you actually. Now that I think about it, because we'll we'll it's developed by Davian. But anyway, which is cool. Is like I wonder. I, like I, I remember I was watching chat during the the colony news, and they're mentioning it. So I don't know if Tyler had planned for that little morsel to to get dug up or not. Because like, uh, hey, I have I have a I have a thing. Yeah. Well, needs that axe. I know, man. I don't know if you guys can see this on a painting, but you can see how it doesn't go on smooth because of how. Not rough the surface is, but it can. Which can be really cool depending on how you're gonna use some dark washes or any kind of colors, but he's gotta be very careful about it or else you're just gonna pick up the texture of the resin versus the actual model. So once again, we are here on watching paint dry, filling in for Viking underscore lass. One time I could just put regular Viking lass, she's like, whoa. I the Viking lass, it's the only one and only. She's apparently like a Highlander. <laughs> when another appears, they have to, they have to fight to the death. She's it's true. Sick. Hashtag Viking facts. <laughs> She's apparently sick, too sick to be here, but not sick enough to be in chat the whole time. The whole interesting, interesting. God damn it, Viking last. Yeah, definitely. So that was one thing that I had to do for the tower. Why I had to call off uh, my laser strikes is if I shoot out of my arm, since all my lasers, oh, two of them. What do we get about? No, my lasers are all on my right arm. If I fire, I can't use that arm to punch. So, we got so how did you like playing with the, the new turnover, by the way? I like it much better. It makes the whole character and flow way, way better. Because that's kind of the thing with like trying to dramatize a strategy game. It's hard to make chess dramatic. So we got about 15 minutes left before we're going to start wrapping it up and get them ready for corporate news. For... I know. God, I'm that battle was great. That mulligan battle was so great, guys. You 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 made it very enjoyable. It was beautiful. I I enjoyed the mulligan battle quite a bit. Mm -hmm. 
<laughs> and all like you guys like all your troll comments are so so awesome. Like it's so great. I love good wit and good humor. Yeah. That was you man guys you guys definitely Somebody asked why Mandy died out. That was basically to show how make people hate Zach even more. Mm -hmm. it, was it was partially that. I think we also wanted to show that the, the team test. couldn't just kind of wing their way through things and expect everything to work out, that there was gonna be repercussions for perhaps not making the best plans. Also, it is called Death from Above, and like, you, you need peril. And who killed Mandy? That was I don't brutal. Know, it's a mystery. Brutal. What an asshole. Yeah. How dare. It's the way that they captured the intensity of that character. You could really, really tell that it was almost his first time acting. <laughs> you could, you, could, you I can also tell that there was at least five takes. Oh no! You, oh no! You could because those are directed pretty well. <laughs> you could easily tell that it was his first time acting. This easily, is this is you, which is actually not true. I've been an extra in a couple things, and I was in a commercial one time. I don't know if you're helping yourself. No, I fucking don't act. Fuck. I don't even like. I don't even like being. Well, I guess not that I don't like being on camera. But I ain't a host. I'm just here painting stuff, talking to you guys. I don't consider this ho hosting. Don't go the light. This is above the call of duty. Doing really? hosty things. I didn't sign up for the shit, and here I am painting for you guys on watching paint dry here at Only to watch it get destroyed in the booth. <laughs> it's gonna be great. Thank you, Anna, for holding it down in there. Because now that she knows the boards, I can go join the Kirby crew and watch NXT when it comes to Seattle. She doesn't use a chef's knife. We're gonna go secret, watch secret knife. chef murderer. Oh yeah. So yeah. directed by Zach. <laughs> Kirby. Yes. Are oh, you gonna periscope it? God, he works so directed, produced, edited. <laughs> Zach didn't sleep. We railed that shit out so fast. It's yeah. like inhuman how fast we made that video. Yeah. It's like we thought of the idea, then alright, this is what we're gonna do. Call some people up, film it, edit it. It's so you know, so Like I don't think you even have like Faya until like that day, right? We called it like in the afternoon. Hey, yeah. Yeah. Come hey, on, who's free? Who's free? You're not, you're not okay. Are you yay? Can, can you come over here? We'll shoot a 30 second video. It'll only take six hours. <laughs> and that's your side. It's gonna take another six, <laughs> six hours, hours after. Yeah. <laughs> and we stopped shooting at like 1 2, 30, 2, 2 in, the in the morning. morning. Yeah. Something like it, yeah. So thank you, Project Human, for hosting. Yay! Oh man. All right. What are we doing there? It is true. Yeah. I think I'm gonna do a quick walk. Where's our wash stuff? Just, you just use I'm gonna go find some wash stuff so we can get this little washy wash. Washy wash. I need more sparkly. No sparkles. No sparkles. Yes, sparkles. We only have the Actually, red. Actually, there was a potential confirmation that sparkles might be in the Battletech game as an option to paint your mech with. Hey, man. You guys can make it happen. That's buying on Mike McCain's approval of me and Tyler's insistence. At least is. here, the motto is yes and, so. We can try. With the power of chat, a lot of things are possible. <laughs> I mean, you got you got Viking last to like slap everybody. So space cat, yeah, you can space cat. I had 350. <laughs> we might have to make our own wash, guys. It's not like it's that far. Space cat sparkle is my favorite color. Like that. That's true. That should, that should be a thing. It's a bare washing cup. Just have like a, a space cat color palette for your Mac. It's the galaxy wash. Be great. So here we're calling you. Some, these are inks. So these are basically a wash is basically a watered down paint, more or less. But you do use it. It's, it's thin enough where it's not gonna actually paint on there. But it's designed to get all little cracks, give it the illusion of shading and detail. Which you can do on your own, but it is very convenient to have the wash of the color of your choice rather than having to remember exactly how many droplets of water to paint that you use. It was very annoying. Oh, Personal this experience. Brush. I need this brush. Okay, hey, Nate. Good yeah. Question. I can't read it. Is it weird for Talon so. to keep the Krita emblem on his mech when he's not working for the house? He sort of is. He's trying to get back in. Yeah, he's Yeah, so I, I've talked to, to uh, Talon, or Connor as his real name is, about uh, his mech and his character quite a bit. Welcome about. back, Rabbit Wonder. And uh, the idea that we kind of were going with is that he doesn't, he kept the emblem there and he didn't want to name it because the mech is kind of the last thing that's connecting him to his family. Hey! And so. I'm just gonna draw. It's a huge Donating for Battletech. Death from above on Friday. I'm not really here, but these are much needed jump infantry. Thumper and hover tank for hardcore. Hashtag Shiawas, hashtag Defa. 
No, Making our battle interesting. Someone's got to do it. Real. So it real. appreciate it. I love when people die for the enemies. No, it's great. And like otherwise, like there, there's it just makes it, it makes it so interesting. It makes it scary, which is fine. Scary is good. Like I'm, because it is permadeath, and you know eventually everything can't go always according to plan. I am excited, kinda, and scared for when one of you guys actually dies. I know. I, I am too. It's gonna I, be. I I think af definitely after that last battle, uh, Natalia's not gonna run into the battle first. <laughs> not gonna we'll be see. quite as. As berserk. Can we start well, this? Well, not just that, but like tactic wise, like I think I would like to think that she starts slowly learning. So I'm also oh, interested have a duel. once someone um, dies. You have you have two guns in your arms and I you've done nothing honorable, so no, no duel for you. <laughs> we need to we just have a pull have a board back there taking pulls. Who's gonna die first? <laughs> a dead pool, guys. Deadpool? Get a dead pool started. Hey. Alright, so I'm washing. I'm just slapping this on really liber liberally. A lot of times when you want to wash, you want to just only get the areas that you want to wash, but I'm just slapping it on. I'm and it's all about accentuating so it, uh... details. Yeah, just so they look like, because you know, they're not the most fancy outfits. I'm just gonna make them look a little... This is also like, you get all these nice cracks and good details and like, shifts of edges, so that's kind of so what the wash is for. Look. Yeah, I like that very much. I'll just highlight the shit out of that purple so we can, get, we can get some nice... It's hilarious because you start right where you need to be and then you gradually get higher and higher and higher. What? What are you That's talking really about? It's really hard! Like, I was like doing I, shit here I was just like, ugh. Oh. 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 Thank you for the... what is it? I don't know how Let's me do my hosting duties. Don't talk to me about technical stuff, Anna. <laughs> What's the most realistic you have learned since playing on DFA? Is that a general question? What's that? Um, Sorry, what was the question? Playing on DFA. Um, learning how to play for you guys is kind of cool, because that's kind of a... I mean, the difference between Corpse Sins and DFA is that you have a bunch of really cool, really awesome improv actors working together and becoming a really good team. And whereas us, we're... <laughs> I mean, it's so AJ, Joe, and what, Connor and all and work together, and I'm just like the one, one friend out, but we're still trying to find a way to connect each other and make it more than just a bunch of friends playing a tabletop, because no one really... That's, that's, that's fun as an inside joke, but when you're playing for an audience, like you have to make the joke for everybody, you know, and, make, and making you guys care about our characters is still something we're all trying to learn how to do. It's hard. You should there, there are things that, that I want to do, and then like I, I don't know how to like get in there and just go, Hey, Tyler, let's just slide this thing in there. I mean, also like Diva ruining my one side date with Lavelle. <laughs> yes, I did Lavelle. How did I miss that? But I didn't think about it fast enough. It's fine though. Whatever. I wrote I wrote a lot of notes in my <laughs> like really big block prints in my notes for that. Diva's hating on your game. Oh, well, thank you. Yeah, trying, learning, learning a lot, which is really fun because uh, this is something very new to me. Twitch is new. You guys are great. So it's really cool to just like be more social and talk away. to people. Yeah, I put two kinds of purple on to make sure that it really can stick around a little bit. Bye! Yeah, okay, because there's a brown, brown wash thing. It's so dark. Yeah, it's, it's yeah, I got this idea. No, yeah, for sure. I'm always talking about fun ideas and and Hello. stuff, so... I know he's pretty much down for anything and making it possible. I purple as much as time. I'm just gonna give you... What's a side it's date? So dark, though, well... <laughs> I don't know, I would imagine that Natalia was very, very mopey because there was family stuff and heavy death shit. She just wanted to talk to somebody. <laughs> a side date. It was the scouting thing! That's what a side, side date is. Hey, can I see your left? Yeah, you, can you see it from there? <laughs> Just a couple drops. Too much. Add some more. looking good. The red and the black is just really good colors. Just the color of death and blood. It's coming for it. It's coming for it. No, I don't want it. Oh, wait, oh, that's using wash together. Uh, eventually, I'll draw a picture of Lavelle and what how how Tyler envisioned her, and, and you'll see why. <laughs> Look at him, five minutes. Get those last minute questions in. We're pinning mechs for. One more drawing. I don't want that bloody heart. Well, maybe that bloody heart can stay there. It'd be funny. Ooh, just, nice. just like a motivational poster. <laughs> Draw some, draw us a, draw some mech. Just oh, yeah, I can't draw mechs, don't, don't make me draw a mech. A robot? Can you draw a robot? No. Like any type of robot? That's, one thing, robot? that's one thing I have never referenced, and that's why I am bad at drawing them. Which, you know, note to you artists, if you want to get better, just, just keep drawing. 
to show you. Art. And, draw, and draw from reference. Like even if it's just you know buildings and it looks crap, what you wind up, what you need to, what you are trying to learn, is like the vocabulary of a building, a car. You know, even that samurai. Like I didn't know exactly what I was doing, but those conversations of lines and knots and little bundles of shading is what made it look like a samurai. <laughs> It did actually look like a samurai. It did look it like did. it, but it oh, wasn't actually a samurai. Really good. I don't know what a samurai looks like. It just rails out this cool looking samurai. Fuck you, Steph. That's what I said. Oh, yeah. So the health thing. Um, that's something I would do want to try and incorporate for DFA. Yeah, Pew, I'm going to try to get a bit dry brush and take off the... So pretty much... Well, if you survive long enough, we'll eventually get into doing yeah, like a kind of story mission about, uh, about yeah. your history. Yeah. I'm just covered some cool stuff one time. Maybe maybe in another like colony use just, like talk to us again. We're going real heavy on this one because I'm gonna do some heavy highlighting and dry brushing after this. So I wanna get a like, kinda of, a super weathered brushing. layer on. Might not be most people's favorite way to do this, but this I'm just rolling with it. Sometimes this. picking up wash <laughs> is really cool to make it pull in certain areas to kind of be really, really specific and can't pull everything. Yeah, we we, we water down this a little more so it'll actually but it's a really cool effect too with watercolors that you just kind of like dry pick out things because you'll also wind up picking up some of the paint as well if you're not careful or if it's what you want, it works. Oh. Wow. Oh, okay. Yeah, um, we're just kind of the, uh, you know, our, our benefactor, you know? Like, who are they? What are they doing? Like, none of us actually really know. No one really knows, so. No one. Yeah, it's very mysterious and with this new mission, it's just full of shade. What are you gonna do? Like... Orange shade. Orange shade. What is gonna happen on Friday? Stay tuned. A real? Oh. oh no. Okay, so the fun story is like I I bought that thing on Amazon. I was like, this will be great. Just was like you know a prop character and stuff. So I just come in and I was like, hey Zach, how do you want to die? <laughs> and we both had kind of had the same idea that we needed something really. Hey, really cool. hold on. I'm Chisley. Oh, I, thought, I read that as unicorn dropship. That'd be great. Dropship. The beautiful people at Project Human. Remember. Hashtag Mitsuhama for all your future tech needs, hash less than three. Thank you for the donation, Shizzy and Project Human. Uh, give me, that, that give is a, me a comment so that this bloody sad heart can go away. What do you think of Mitsuhama? What do you think of? Mitsuhama? What does Mitsuhama Name, mean? What do you think of when you think of Mitsuhama Corporation? Hmm. Mitsuhama? Um, Mitsuhama? Yeah. Think of ninjas, actually. Draw a ninja climbing a giant building. Go. Can I just draw like a Kawasaki ninja? <laughs> you can draw whatever ninja you want. Draw draw a big kind of like cyberpunk building real quick and then draw a ninja scaling the side of it. And that will be our final drawing sending us out. And then write, draw a second building just says hashtag Ares next to it. So Ares is the real corporation that cares about all your needs. Ares cares about humans. We got your Did back. You got your back. You just co-opted a different corporation's donation, didn't you? Hashtag Aries, we are friends of everyone's donations. And apparently, corruption. <laughs> Hashtag Aries, we are corrupt. Corrupt. <laughs> Aries, we will abuse our power and authority. Super wash, going super heavy, we're gonna make this shit look weathered as a motherfucker. It's basically this planet, I don't know, we'll see how it turns out. They are fighting in a, you know, uh, jungle delta, so being muddy and... Oh, good. It's Rambo, pretty much. It's gonna be great, guys. Are you gonna, gonna kill die. a bunch of cops? Or, is it, or it's like, or it's Predator. I don't know, whichever, whichever said. Which it's Predator know. and giant robots? <laughs> yeah, yeah, sure, why not? I don't know, aliens, something like that. Hey, Anna, which... Uh, that was... Oh, I was actually all for the Predator and giant robots. Uh, that... On the top of that, I put hashtag Mitsuhama, because that was the donation. I wish I still remembered how to write, con like, uh, Romaji and shit. Sure. Hashtag Mitsuhama. Mitsuhama, Mitsuhama. Mitsuhama. Hey, if Shio keeps coming on, can you just all sing that little happy and you know it, clap your hands song? How's it go? Shio Wase Narate wa Katako. Yes, we'll sing that every time. It sounds like a great idea. Shio Wase Narate wa Katako. I don't know the rest of it, so you're on your own. Bye. <laughs> so much help. And actually, that's what it translates to, by the way. If you're happy, you know it, you clap your hands, which I, it's really weird. It's super muddy and weathered. We're gonna let this dry, see what it looks like. Hey, Paradigm Shift! Oh, whoops. That's not what I wanted. Here we go. Hash Evo dash they could be directly found against us. 
Don't even know what that means, but thank you. <laughs> oh god. Almost knocked everything over. Alright, so we got kind of ru rusty weathered, weathered, weathered mud wash. Uh, this thing's gonna take a lot of highlighting as I can pull out some of this thing. We have the oh, fire man. starch over here looking like muddy, like he's been in some serious bush. Hey, you guys should just have me over here just drawing stuff during Viking Oss's actual thing. This is actually gonna actually paint on the show and I can just draw for you guys. We are That's fine great. with that. So those mechs are st started. We got lots of highlighting to do. We also, we're, we're saving- We're dollar donation, so I can only draw so much. Yo, Ryan needs to be painted as well. We're saving the Victor for April. We got lots of mechs to paint. What is Shiawasi? Yeah, there is. Like, uh, because bot voice butchers Shiawasi, I hear Shiawasi, I'm like, what does that freaking mean? And I finally remembered in the middle of two in the morning that, oh yeah, it does mean happiness. So we'll be painting the Victor next. It is almost time to shut, shut it down. It is actually almost time to shut it down. Actually, Dead Pixel, you should actually look up the Shiawase song with the hair, and it's amazing. I wanted to link it to Emily for Rabbit Stew to terrify everybody, but... Uh, Anna, do you know how to shut it down in there? Can you give me a thumbs up if you know how to, or a thumbs down if you don't? Uh, that's that, not a thumbs up that, or a thumbs down. Like a is that a Loch Ness <laughs> monster? Because all we saw was this, Loch it, Ness. It, it's Kermit. Oh. Oh, that's yeah. Kermit. Mm. Well, I want to have you guys kind of send us out. Tell us what shows you're on, what's coming up next, all that good stuff. Well, I'm on Colony News, which is on Tuesday and Fridays at 5.30 and 6.30, respectively. Uh, I, I'm Death from Above, man. I get to pilot big robots and punch them and maybe do some character development. Tuesdays at 6 and Fridays at 6. So tomorrow. No, that's not tomorrow. No, that's the day it's after. the day after tomorrow. Sorry. I don't know days of the week. It's really fuzzy when I only get four hours of sleep. Anyway, we'll see you then. <laughs> Bye. Oh god.